Hello, everybody, and welcome to Drawn and Quartered Ultimate Fan Edition. <laughs> we are here. And, of course, the Pro Edition is back, too. Isn't that nice? Uh, very happy yeah, to have you. had a hiatus for a whole week. A whole yeah. week, yeah. We Did we predict that? <laughs> yeah. No, I think we did. Oh, didn't we? Uh, maybe but, the... Uh, I guess the Drawn and Quartered fa- uh, Ultimate Edition is going to have to hi- have a high this, but for now we'll just be the Ultimate Fan Edition. Yes, we are the <laughs> Ultimate Fan Edition. <laughs> so, uh, uh, but uh, welcome, guys. Uh, very happy to have you all in here. Uh, and uh, do keep in mind, of course, as we always say uh, here at Fanspeak, we have all those links down below, particularly the, uh, the Facebook uh, page. Uh, uh, go over and be part of that community. We're having a lot of fun, and uh, it's a good place, too, because you can post anything you want. Really, uh, and Denali's in charge of all that stuff. Uh, so, uh, and he's very open-minded. So, uh, that is awesome. Uh, also, of course, uh, uh, we are live streamers. Uh, therefore, if you guys could do us a good favor and go over and hit that share button and uh, let all your family and friends and extended community know what's going on, so they come over here and join us. Uh, you know. <clears throat> It's what we do. Uh, so thank you guys very much for that. Uh, we got 18 people in here already. It's awesome. Uh, also, uh, Denali would be quite cross with me. <laughs> that was a Rick joke. Uh, if I didn't mention that uh, to hit that subscribe button and the like button as well. For some reason, those things seem to be important. Uh, so, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, we need more Rick. Well, we got Rick, Chaos Weaver. Hey. We have a Rick. Hello, Rick. Hey. Rick Piper. Yo, yo, yo. It it's is. time to scalpel the competition. Oh my God! I cannot uh, escape I that it already. Yes, it it is. Rick. Sexy Rick. We oh, need yeah. to reduce them to zero. Oh no. <sighs> okay. All right, uh, Booster. You, this is your responsibility. All right. Just keep it in mind. Uh, but of course, guys, uh, I uh, would Wait, like what? to. Uh, I would like to introduce. I didn't my... sign up for this. Uh, no. oh, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to introduce my co-host properly. Uh, of course, mm-hmm. he mm-hmm. is the most oily thing you've ever seen Mm -hmm. it just drips off him it's disgusting as if it is torrential rain uh he's also not even sexy it's not and he he is ultra hetero he's also the major master pie expert on the planet i would say Uh it Uh is booster me hi i'm booster (laughs) you ready for this today dude Oh, oh, I'm ready. My nipples are perked like a cut diamond at the moment. Let's go, baby. <laughs> That's sweet. That's good to know. Now, guys, do keep yeah. in mind, of course, this isn't a kid show. Uh, we always say yeah. that. And, uh, you know, uh, um, this is do... your grandma's drawing quarter. No, it's not. It's not a kid show. Uh, and, and that's all well and good. Uh, we have plenty of things here on Fanspeak that uh, kids can and go enjoy. No, we don't, actually. No, we don't. Uh, but uh, but this is definitely not. This is PG-13++++1000 today because we have Scalpel Zero in the house. And boy, howdy, man. Uh, let, let me just give you – I'm just going to give you a little a little peek. A peek. Okay, here we go. Ready? Oh, there. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Give us a peek, love. Oh, look at that. That's just sexy. It's sexy. It's sexy. Uh, So uh, I'm really looking forward to see what the artists are going to do today. And, of course, I'm going to come over to the creator himself uh, momentarily. But i gotta, I got to talk to my crowd here. i got to see what these artists are up to today. Yeah. Uh, We got Siege back. Hey, Siege, what's going on? Hi. I'm getting ready to draw. Sweet. Uh, Well, you were over at the uh, Pro Edition yesterday. Uh, How did it go for you? It went pretty well, I would say. Went a little too well, I think. (laughs) <laughs> How so? Please uh, elaborate. Oh, you know, just uh, John. I don't know what he's doing. It's kind of scaring me. <laughs> John, John. John is uh, on a tirade again. Oh, no. Oh, oh well. Oh, no. Oh, Maybe. no. So you're telling me another hiatus is, is, is incoming? Interesting. All right. Well, uh, thanks. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> well, glad no, to have you here, for, for a week, I guess. Yeah, yeah, we're, <laughs> we, yeah right. Uh, we're not going to berate you or anything like that. We're very happy to have you. Uh, now, of course, uh, we're next, all nice here. We are nice. We're nice people. Yeah, too uh, nice. Then, of course, we have. That's why uh, we get the no recognition. That's true. That is true. Yeah, you, you got you, you, uh, uh, nice guys finish last, man. That's that's the way it yeah. is. Uh, now, of course, we have a Canadian in here. Quick. I do apologize. You know, uh, we got a couple of Canadians today. Uh, I, I, you know, they're just like a plague. I can't get rid of them. Uh, but uh, we do have Sexy Rick in the house. Hello, Sexy Rick. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> My man. <laughs> now, uh, you know this character really well, Rick. Uh, so uh, what, what do you think about putting down, man? Uh, I think I'm going to do something pretty good. I got my idea already planned out. Sweet. 
all those in blue. So it's hard to little oh, see. Yeah. yeah, that's good. Got a plan. Got a plan. That's what we want to see. All right. Thanks for coming on, Rick. Uh, moving down, we have the phenomenal, uh, and I do mean phenomenal booster, uh, El Rodimus mm -hmm. Flash. Oh, he, he's given a little Look bit of love. He's already love. done a booster. He's done a oh booster. Oh, my God. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Ultimate. Ultimate edition. Yeah, all right. Ultimate hey. edition. <laughs> You're showing your age there, buddy. I uh, just want you to know. Uh, but because uh, the Ultimate Warrior was badass, man. Uh, of course, uh, uh, he was originally the Dingo Warrior. But I'm not going to get into the wrestling. Uh, stop, stop. Be, don't be bad. Uh, Erodimus, how are you doing today? What do you think about our subject matter, sir? Cyborgs are fun, so I'm in. Awesome. There you go. Easy answer. Easy answer. Uh, all right. Uh, moving down the line here, we have uh, <clears throat> the only Eric that matters. Eric Hawkins. Yes, that would be me, the only Eric. But I also let her, too, so it's not just a Weathers thing. Uh, uh, do you... <laughs> Do you do you letter? Do I you do because I can't does. afford a letter, so I got a letter myself. Look at it. Like, you know, dude, I like what you got. Maybe you should get Eric Wivers to letter for you. <laughs> no, you should get. <laughs> you should send this to me. I'd use this, dude. I'd yeah, I was going to ask you if you want, wanted it, and I'd send it over to you. No, please do. Ultimate. Dude. Oh, I would use that. Yeah, you have to that. put like a little little fan in brackets between Ultimate and Edition. <laughs> no, you know, the booster. You're gonna have to give me a soundbite. I I, I want to have. I'm gonna have to record the uh, Ultimate uh, from you. Go ahead and do it. Well, you want me to go Ultimate? Yeah, we got a little bit better, a little more of a vibrato, a little more of a vibrato. Come on. <clears throat> okay, well, like, like Ultimate. No, 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 no. I need the high pitch. I need the high pitch. <laughs> try again. Try ultimate. again. Yeah, you gotta get, you know, you have to have that. You gotta get that for Rado. Yeah, you go ahead, go ahead. Try again. Try again. Just imagine Ezra is standing in front of you, totally nude and dripping. Wet. There we go. There we go. That'll work. Uh, Booster, thank you. you need to draw Ezra and Keanu for Chester tonight in your draw law. And Keanu. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. Uh, but uh, also, you know, another thing I need to do, guys. Um, uh, I was thinking about. It. It's been over a year now. And uh, uh, we have that uh, little contest we had to uh, put together the uh, logo and stuff for Fanspeak. I think I want to do it again. I want to up it, man. I want to up the oh. artistic grade of our uh, uh, of our logoing and stuff like that. So uh, we're gonna have to do something about that. Maybe surprise. We'll, I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to think of something uh, because I want to I want to upgrade it. I want to level it up if I can. And we have all these great artists, dude. We've met in the year that we've been doing this. So uh, why not, right? Uh, but uh, thank you very much for being here, Eric, and looking forward to seeing your scalpel zero, sir. And uh, I hope it is ultra sexy, me dripping sexy, sir. Please. And uh, speaking of so speaking of uh, dripping sexy, hey, cat. Oh, oh, behave, Chester. Hey. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, good, good. How, How are you? you? Doing? I'm doing really well. You're the only Canadian I don't pick on, so uh, you're lucky. <laughs> Uh, but uh, no, uh, very happy to have you back here, Cat. I uh, haven't seen you in a while, uh, so uh, yeah, we're doing Scalpel Zero. Now you know this character uh, from Tank. Uh, so what mm -hmm. are you planning? Uh, I have no idea. I'm just gonna wing it. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna give some references here in a moment <laughs> if you want to check. But you can check on the Discord. Uh, we do have a bunch in the topic references there, so you guys can check it. But uh, very happy to have you back, Cat. Uh, Thank you. Uh, and then we have uh, we have uh, our our most favorite. Uh, the bestest Norweg Norwegian uh, that you could possibly have, and, me and McCrank. Hello, McCrank. Yes, hello. So the enthusiasm just is ever lasting. <laughs> um, so, McCrank, uh, do you know the character, dude? I have no idea. All right, so just it go to the Discord. Like something. Uh, just no, just go to the Discord and check, uh, check yeah, out. I, I got I got the reference. I got the oh, reference, good. but I, I don't good. know anything about it. But... Oh, well, um, we're going to get to that in a minute, and uh, Tank will uh, lay it all out. I don't want to ruin it. I'll let him do that. Uh, but uh, very happy to have you back. You know uh, we always love you over here, McCrank. And uh, we love your art more than you do. Yeah? Yeah, uh, just a warning. I haven't gotten any better at drawing, so uh -huh. just be prepared. No, no. <laughs> well, well, we, <clears throat> we expect you to say exactly that. So thank you, McCrank. Uh, uh, I've gotten worse, in fact. He's gotten worse. There you go, guys. It's gotten worse. Uh, but uh, let me come over to our uh, last artist of the day. Uh, we have uh, Mike McMahon. Hello, sir. Hello. 
How you doing, man? Haven't seen you in a while. I'm doing good. Well, yeah, I've been busy. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Working um, on uh, volume two of my book, so. Uh, well, you know, we only have like eight seats, and uh, we have over a hundred artists on the on the uh, uh, Discord. So, uh, it, you know, it's it is what it is. But we're happy to have you here, dude. Uh, now you know uh, this subject here. Uh, what 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 are you planning on doing here? This is a cyborg, and it's a uh, um, it's a sexy sexy cyborg. I think I'm gonna kind of take a a, a gory road road uh, for the character. Uh, I've been kind of digging back into my uh, my Capullo spawn run and all the ick and gore and nastiness and Ew. sweet, sweet. All right, uh, definitely we'll not PG thirteen. No, please, no, 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 none of that. We want to uh, uh, we want to have some fun today. <clears throat> all right, thank you, Mike. Uh, now uh, keep yep. in mind, guys, uh, this is a two hour show, uh, two hour contest. Sorry, uh, and uh, during that time, there's only one rule: no color. On that, you do whatever you want. Uh, this is uh, very much an unleashed episode here because of the subject matter. Uh, so feel free to, uh, you know, I mean, don't go that far. But, I mean, uh, you know, have fun with it and uh, do some interesting stuff. And, of course, more Ezra, the better. Uh, cool. But um, yes. it is time. Ezra. more Plenty of Ezra. Uh, it, mm -hmm. it is time to start. Now, do keep in mind, uh, uh, we really, really want to see you guys draw along. And uh, for everybody over there in the chat, please do uh, just go over to the Twitter and go to hashtag DNQFE. Once again, D, hashtag DNQFE and drop your completed art in there and we'll yeah. take a look at it at the end of the show. We'd love to draw along. Uh, please do that. Uh, but it is time to start them off. Engines revering in all there, Booster. And uh, I, I kind of wonder, it, will, will Tank suck or will he, will he not. not suck? I think he'll do the most spectacular countdown of all time because I believe in him. You do. You do. You do. <laughs> For some if reason. He, if he starts at 100, I'm blaming you. Just understand that. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right Tank. Tank. Take us away. Yes. Are you alive? Maybe. All right. Well, you have a responsibility here, yeah, sir. Yeah. Uh, you need to start us off, and I need a, I need the most brilliant, awesome countdown that has ever happened. I mean, uh, we, we need, you know, let's get ready to rumble. I need that kind of stuff, dude. Yeah. Mm, okay. Energy, baby. Bring it. Give me a second. Give me a second. Mm. Mm. All right. Are you ready for the most exciting moment in Cyberpunk history? <laughs> yes, ladies oh, no. and friends, we are getting ready to count down to the beginning of the end. <laughs> Hold on to your butts, it's about to get non-Newtonian in here. <laughs> All right, let's go with a 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, destroy. Go. 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 That, that would be a go. And, uh, that would be a go. Uh, that was pretty good. I have tank. no idea okay. what that was an impression no. of, but I loved it. Yeah, I did too. Uh, they, <laughs> we usually started about three. Uh, but 10 will do. It's okay. Uh, I'll do it do. as well. Yeah, it kind of felt like the 12 days of Christmas, but, uh, you know, it's all right. Um, <laughs> Is that the <laughs> no, so you got to no. build up the anticipation. No, I think it was supposed Patience. to be Mark Hamill's Joker. Uh, okay. No, I, don't no, no, I was just no. uh, doing generic villain number 47. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. 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 Well, yeah. I'm going to take it as a joker. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, guys, a joker. Uh, definitely uh, get to it. And, uh, of course, we're going to come over and show you guys art uh, here momentarily. But we want to talk a little bit about uh, to Tank about what he's doing. Uh, and uh, Bullet says, oh, I hate yeah. this for you, Chester. Actually. Well, well, well actually. Thank, thank he's, you, Bullet. Uh, <laughs> notice that you end a lot of your sentences with actually. Actually. I, I probably do. <laughs> I probably have all kind of quirks and mannerisms. Uh, it you is probably what it do, is. actually. Yeah, yeah, actually. We need to scuffle, we need to scuffle those out of you. Uh -huh. oh, I, I you swear get, to you, God, you get Rick. one of those, Rick. I swear to Rick, God, you Rick. get one. You you gotta switch up your plans. You can't use cable every time. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a tantrum. I'm gonna yeah. freak out. Right now, do keep in mind, everybody in here, uh, just to keep you in line. Booster has a very tight and sexy little Naruto oh. ninja outfit. And if you oh, screw oh, up, oh. if you Ooh. if you tick me off, I will send him Naruto Naruto across the ocean at your ass. <laughs> <laughs> <Agreed>. <laughs> 
directly to your ass. I'm going to lose a run over there. <laughs> yes, well, you will. I'm just very <laughs> zero, Conan. much afraid. <laughs> oh God! All right, I'm going. Uh, I, I'm, that's it. I'm I'm white boxing uh, tank. I'm ignoring. Uh, I'm ignoring uh, Rick completely. Uh, uh, all right, uh, he's, tank he's now. Um, blacklisted. Uh, now, what I'm going to do All is right. I'm going to come over here. Uh, uh, let me uh, let me unwipe box you. Actually, I'm going to show a couple pieces of art. Uh, uh, that you have, and uh, please <clears throat> just, uh, of course we all know you here, but uh, lay down what your character is, uh, what's the concept, and I'm going to show a few pieces of art while you do that. Go ahead. All right. Well, you know, the story is that Scalpel Zero came online in 2054. Uh, cybernetic uh, combination, uh, cybernetic organic components for the processor and uh, and for the body as well. Vat grown muscles attached to an artificially produced endo frame, fake guts, and all sorts of fun science fiction stuff. Don't worry, folks. There's going to be tons of fun technical readouts for you to fawn over. Um, but uh, yeah, she was a uh, prototype and uh, field tested prototype and field tests prototypes like prototype vehicles, prototype weapons, uh, has a degree of authority, um, is, a U- is, ba- is a U.S. Marshal and does work with corporate uh, law enforcement, um, uh, mostly, you know, free agent pursuing individual stuff. It's overseen by a... Uh, of course, you know, you can't let robots go running loose, right? Right, right, right. Um, not a true intelligence, a pseudo intelligence. So just a really smart computer that kind of seems human, you know? She, um, she is. She is, yes. So she's not a cyborg, robot. she's a robot. She's a robot. An android. Okay, okay, I get it, I get it. All right, cool. Yep, she's a robot. A cyber droid. You know, it has organic bits and whatnot. I get it's it. A little different yeah. than an Android, yeah. But uh, it's a, it's a classic staple of the cyberpunk genre, though. You know, you, you get plenty of that fun stuff. Um, uh, Bubblegum Crisis had their uh, what was it, the bio um, living components, living metal, and stuff like that. It's not cool. I like that. Um, but you know, a little bit of inspiration from from the genre. Of sure, course. of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, law enforcement, uh, primary duties. Uh, like, she's going to be busting a Chinese triad uh, that's actually just a front for a, a Chinese corporation that's trying to smuggle a uh, renowned scientist out of the U.S. and into them so that scientist can uh, further their own research. Yeah, that's, All right. That's what there she you does. Go. No, I think she's it's cool. It's sci-fi a for sure. Potty right? who can She's a hellacious hottie who could huck to Harley, though. Got to watch out. She is strong, powerful. Wow. Convert- How long did you think take the thing about that one? 65 miles an hour. What does huck to Harley mean? I don't, I don't know what that means. Uh, uh, the, oh, wait. Sorry, Booster. Let me translate that. She can yeet a Harley. Oh, thank you. There we go. You're welcome. <laughs> wow. Tank is, tank, tank is multilingual. He speaks New New Zealander. He speaks multiple uh, um, uh, generations, even. Yeah, I speak generational English. That's that's what I speak. Intergenerational English. English. Yeah. All right, now what is this that it's Trusty Sidekick ride, is saying? Yeah, yeah, oh, well, I'm expecting it to be. Uh, Trusty Sidekick says, "All right, who's going to draw Scalpel Zero versus Busty Sidekick?" I hope everybody. <laughs> everybody. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Busty Sidekick. She is the uh, all new hot hot Sidekick. Of- of Tina Chester, there's an. Chester, there is an amazing lineup of artists here tonight, but there are two very special guests, and that's Rick and Cat. Uh-huh. All right, and I'm gonna tell you why because uh-huh. they're they both. Like they're both like really stand out, and I'm really awesome and happy that they're here because Rick, of course, <laughs> was the first one to do Scalpel Zero fan art. <laughs> you know, because Rick is the quintessential fan artist, dude. Like he has drawn your character, you probably don't know it. Uh, number two, Cat, the first petty, which was, she goes, I drew a picture of Scalpel Zero, and she. Had a picture of a vacuum cleaner wearing a jacket and a blonde wig. <laughs> it is the best thing ever, dude. 
Yeah. <laughs> I still have that somewhere. Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, no, of course, we, we, we've been uh, seeing scalpels there for quite a while. Uh, and uh, therefore, uh, of course, Tank, you're starting to have some roboting problems, which I think there's a running bet in the chat of how long you'll last in the show. Uh, but uh, that's all right. We got you either way. Uh, but uh, uh, tell us, uh, what is your plan for uh, getting this thing uh, into uh, production, dude? Well, first off, Chester, I'm so cyberpunk that when I get excited, I start speaking in binary. Mm -hmm. uh, number two, uh, right now I had a fa uh, well, I had a family emergency, right? And we're getting right through it. We're to towards the tail end. And then I can get back to serious production. So by the end of this month, I have a uh, I've got a steady office set up and I get right back to production on Scalpel Zero. Uh, and so uh yeah, we'll, we'll look this look for another uh, uh, for launch information in November. I'll probably do it, uh, uh, you know, I'll probably do it at the beginning of the year. So you uh, are going to do a crowdfunding then? Yes, we will do a crowdfunding. It will be it will be like a little loot box. You're going to get a comic and a bunch of tchotchkes and goodies and stuff. Uh, I've been working behind the scenes. I've worked in uh, the entertainment industry for uh, well over a decade and uh know and know how to do all this production stuff so um and a little maybe a little maybe a couple little handshakes and some nepotism mm -hmm. uh later nepotism's awesome uh, i can provide a great value to people yeah, you know, I, I'm yeah, a pretty, a I'm a pretty stupid person, uh, actually. Tank, uh, I've constantly put myself in countries where I'm like the only non, uh, uh, non Asian, and uh, I've right. completely thrown nepotism out the window. Damn it! I'm an idiot. <laughs> Whoops. Right. Yeah, it is what it is. Well, uh, it's Los Angeles, man. I mean, it's nepotism is just a part of the terrain. Uh, as well yeah, as yeah. as well as drug needles, homelessness, and shit on the street. Yeah, it's awesome. Ooh. <laughs> oh, no. Go, go, oh, California. Chester, you know, on Disney, man. Huh? Uh, I had a friend who worked Caltrans. He'll tell you nightmare stories. Oh, no, dude. It's uh, uh, The West Coast has lost their damn mind, dude. Uh, but whatever. And, uh, you know, for all of the though, those of you who live there, I do apologize. See, McCrank now, uh, he lives himself in a very, very clean and beautiful country of wonderful, beautiful, tall blondes. <sighs> and, and yes, I, I do have middle. the yellow fever. Shut up, Zach. Uh, now, uh, mm -hmm. one person mm -hmm. who isn't here, guys, we have JP4. Now, I love JP4. Uh, he's a model maker, and oh, he does a lot of uh, uh, really cool him? stuff. I Shut up, Booster. Uh, but uh, I love JP4, and I really wish he'd come on my damn show. God. What, why wouldn't no, he? Right? Do, uh, he's Do like it. an old Do grandpa. He's, he's awesome, dude. He's pe these people, man. Uh, uh, he's usually trucking along when your show's on. Yeah, oh. I know. He's doing something. Uh, but I really wanted him to come, come on the show, though, because uh, I, I love talking to that guy. Uh, but, um, uh, Cross, you are white box, by the way. Uh, and uh, oh. we have an action shot from uh, uh, from Rick here. Now, uh, Rick, uh, are you going to put any sexiness into this? Are we going to have, a, a like, a ripped shirt and a nipple coming out or something like that? Mm. No, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. Ooh, <laughs> tantalizing. Titillating right. Right. Uh, hints from uh, Rick. Like oh, no. Goodness gracious. Uh, but uh, welcome to the jungle indeed. Hey, the Howl Comics is in here. Uh, and with that, I will uh, once again remind you guys uh, that we do a draw along here, just like the Pro Edition. Of course, it's Edwin Boyette's idea. Uh, we, we really appreciate his we idea. Appreciate uh, but uh, definitely please do draw along. And uh, we want to see what you guys have. Go over to the Twitter and put in the hashtag DNQFE. Once again, that is hashtag DNQFE. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll check it out at the end of the show. Uh, we love doing that. Uh, I'm moving on down here to see look at some other artists. Uh, now we have El Rodimus Flash, and uh, uh, it seems that uh, ah! Ezra Miller is making an appearance <gasps> as Scalpel Zero. Very nice. I have I have infected El Rodimus Flash with the Ezra. You have, dude. You absolutely <laughs> have. <laughs> I do like the idea what he's got going on here, though, with the damage and stuff. It looks really cool. Uh, you get your mic on, El Rodimus? Yeah, I'm, I'm going for a, a Grace Jones. Hey, <laughs> oh, I see. Hey, yeah, I love I'll it. Take that, yeah. Yeah. Because when I think robots, I'm like, yeah, that lady's a robot. Yeah, no. Uh, uh, you know, the thing interesting about Grace Jones is she's actually a very unattractive person, but there's just something about her that is stunningly sexy. I don't know what it is. It's she's weird. Cute. 
I feel the yeah. same way about Queen Latifah. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no god no i am scrubbing my brain i'm scrubbing my brain oh my god that hurt grace jones is strange i'm I'm googling this and i don't like it yeah it's weird right but dude if you see yeah. her now, now of course el rodimus once again is showing his age uh because the young folk don't know who she is uh but uh there's just something ultra sexy about grace jones and it's it's the most bizarre Whoa. thing yeah, it doesn't make yeah. sense, but it is. I ain't seeing that uh, because you it haven't ain't seen doing her. It for me, just... Because you haven't seen her in action. You haven't seen her moving and talking. Is why you haven't seen her uh, spar with Christopher Walken. Yeah, dude, that's right. <laughs> that's well, right. that I have to see. <laughs> wow, Grace Walken, Walken. Grace Walken. Jones, you freaking Christopher Walken out, and Chris but Jones, still kind of sexy in a way. <laughs> hey, <laughs> that's pretty good, Booster. Claps for Booster. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Howl comic says aggressive confidence, Grace Jones. Yeah, there's something awesome about that lady, dude. Uh, because straight up, she's not pretty. She's not. Oh no, but, uh, she well. is. She's awesome though. Absolutely awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, she's in the second well, Conan. I love... Oh goodness. Uh, but uh, Tank, now um, uh, this character, uh, uh, I have known about her for over a year, a year and a half, I'd say, is first time I he heard you talking about it, right. met you. Uh, and, um, uh, of course, I think I saw it first over on Manny's channel at uh, Good Dog uh, Press. If you guys aren't uh, over there, go check that out. Uh, but um, uh, tell us, where did the inception of Scalpel Zero come from? Now, I know you've worked in the industry for quite a while, and I've seen some of your uh, comics you've done from before. Uh, but uh, where did Scalpel Zero come from? Um, well, I w wanted to write a story about the villain in a cyber. I've always liked cyberpunk, and I just I had this character that just kind of morphed over the years. And in 2003, I began production on Scalpel Zero, uh -huh. and I started writing out a story. And um, actually, what's fun is that um, <clears throat> I had a friend who was running a cyberpunk game. And Cyberpunk 2020 from Arch Halsorium. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I jumped in and I was, uh, I, he let me build Scalpel Zero. Um, you know, and I was like, hey, so if you could do this with your plot, because I'm kind of working on a story. And he and I often use roll, tabletop role games. The writers groups, did, we used to do that just as writing exercises come Sure. Move story along, come out lines, no and then, for no and then, um, you know. So and I ran her through the game and got a chance to really sculpt out the character a little bit. Came up with a story and I was like, all right, 2006. I was like, going. I was thinking about bringing it to light, but I was like, okay, I just don't have the time because I was working like normal day jobs and stuff like that. Uh, and so, yeah, when I kind of like, uh, I started, uh, going back into art as a, as an occupation in, uh, in 2017 area, like yeah, 2015 is when I did the work for CK comics on, uh, Hell Slayer and Caliber. Oh, right. Right. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, no. And then I met Manny and he was working on skunk girl and I was working on scalpel zero and, uh, I was actually working on scalpel zero when I was glass walled on Facebook. Facebook because I stuck up for Peter Semetti and said that he wasn't a scumbag and he was actually a really good person. Which he is. Uh, and that was... He is. No, Peter's an awesome dude. Yeah, he is. Uh, you know, I've, I've, I've been a friendly, casual associate of his for a long time, and he's always just been an outstanding person. Um, you know, so... Uh, yeah, I, did, I didn't think it was fair that he was getting the, he was getting the, he was getting the, the wrong end of the stick. Right. And uh, I stuck out for him, and that's how I oh, found, found out that. about Comics Gate and Team Comics, and all these cool people like the Deltaverse, and uh, you know, all the Needle Movers Society. I love all these people. They're like, cool. they're like way into comics, and I'm like, oh man, and and they actually move and they shake. They actually get stuff done. They don't sit around and talk about it. Love that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. such an yeah. incredible pool of people and artists over here in this little corner of indie comics oh yeah yeah no and we are a little corner of it it seems yeah but that's well, yeah after 
after 15 years of development, uh, after several editors re rewritten a ton of times. It's been sculpted. We've, uh, you know, I, I, we kick around the ideas. We do the development uh, on the on the on the gadgets and the doodads and all the cars and stuff like that. Products, 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 products. It's cyberpunk. You got to have commercialization. You know. Yeah, sure. Uh, and I, I, we're ready to pull the trigger. Awesome, dude. Uh, no, I do. Yeah, I do notice that. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, no, and, and we hopefully we'll see it sooner than later. Uh, but uh, first thing yeah. you need to do is get a better damn computer, Mister Robot. Uh, but uh, it is interesting yeah. to me that over here in the chat, Pope Raven has finally come out as an Australian transgender. Uh, so good on oh. you, dude. Good on you. Yeah. Uh, hell, I'm, I'm so hell sorry. Rape. Yeah. Yeah. So. Don't, oh, don't don't do that. He doesn't need that. Yeah, no. Jake, we need to stop being confusing you with one of your uh, prototypes. All right. Exactly. Oh, burn, burn, burn yeah. from sexy Rick. Uh, Model three says, uh, "I wish Cat would get her nails painted." Uh oh. Don't trigger her. Oh. Damn it, model. Yeah, and I keep telling him he should pay me and give me some money, and I will go get them painted. There you go. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and because uh, next, uh, Indiegogo, uh, uh, right? Cat's nails. Right. Uh, we'll do a, a GoFundMe. Get get cat's <laughs> nails painted. Uh, that sounds need, like a worthy cause. Five thousand dollars to do so. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> Evan, uh, cat's uh, agents. I'm going to need ten percent of that. <laughs> yeah. What do you? What would you do with money? You don't even know what it looks like. I had a money once. You did about six months ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that all went to my switch. It di it did. Yeah, you got your switch, yeah. and you you're a happy little boy. Uh, that's I'm a good thing about Booster. He he's <laughs> easy to placate. Oh yeah. Yep. Little alcohol yeah, here. Yeah, uh, a little uh, a little uh, uh, a little secret black marketed uh, Ezra Miller nude, <laughs> and he's good to go. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, and Pokemon in a month. <laughs> yeah, Pokemon. Oh no! Uh, you know I love how you keep telling everyone they're a weeb, and you're the most weeb person around me. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Quite frankly. How many die Makura do you have? Look, like seven. Okay, but that's besides <laughs> the point. Just because I like a little bit of Pokemon, just because I like Kingdom Hearts, just because I like a little bit of hentai once in a while, doesn't make me a weeb. Oh, goodness gracious. I think by definition it does, actually. I don't care for your attitude. Booster, three. <laughs> Once in a while. He, he can that? collect Pokemon all he wants, just as long as he's not poking them on. Oh, God. Oh. Damn it, Rick. Oh. <laughs> it's like you let a fart off in the room or something, dude. <laughs> It's just, it's brutal. This it's, is like a form it's of It's rude. That's... Apologize for yourself. I'll make the terrorists talk within minutes. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> the American government should hire him. Yeah, yeah subcontractor from uh, subcontractor uh. from Canada. Canada land. <laughs> Please, no more funds. <laughs> Uh, McCrank, you are being white box, by the way. And uh, yeah, I, I'm liking what I'm seeing, McCrank. You're looking good. She's she's looking sassy. She's, she's got a gun. She's sassy. It's nice. You know, um, Chester. You know mm -hmm. when you try to do some good shit. I know you are. Dude. You try to create some good shit. I know and you then are. Then it ends up as as dog shit instead. I know. That's what's I going know. on right now. I know. I know. Oh, I swear. You're, are you are you whinging about your damn art again? Because I swear. <laughs> McCray, you know, am I just gonna have to? Am I just gonna have to try to convince you that you're beautiful? Is that what it is? <laughs> you're beautiful. I'll, I'll in sing. Every way. You're beautiful. You're beautiful. To me. It's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was <laughs> getting there. You, you jumped my yeah. chorus. No, okay. <sighs> you're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> now, McCrank, I do have an actual serious question. Uh, you, of course, are, are are from the Norway, and uh, uh, I'm curious: Are you in the north, or are you in the south, or are you in the east, or the west? Where whereabouts in the Norway are you? Where is the black metal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He's not by the moose. I am the way oh. north, Arctic Circle. Oh, you are. So I'm no sunlight. So do you? Uh, do you McCrank, live on a fjord? How many churches have you burned? 
What? I live in the fjord, yes. You do? Sweet. Sweet. I have to go to the Sorry. homeland one day, man. How many churches have you burned, McCrank? Why? What? What does that have to do with Norway? <laughs> it's a, They're farmers. It's a... They're farmers. In the 90s, there was a big epidemic of a black metal dudes running around burning churches. In Norway? Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, yeah. I didn't know that. Ban mayhem. Yeah. Well, I guess at that time, there was Norway and you wanted to go there. Oh, I swear oh. to God, Booster, you are. <laughs> this is your. This is your fault. I, I, I did nothing. Now, I Kat, did nothing. Now, Cat was trying to make a joke, so let me come back and uh, focus she... on Cat for a moment. Uh, please unmute yourself and retell sorry, you. Cat. Everyone would be quiet. Every... Right. No, no, it's fine. We can move on. <laughs> no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. I want to hear. You have, it. To, you have no. to do it now. We're forcing it. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> it's gonna happen. No, I can't even remember. It's fine. Damn it! We'll, we'll make Cross sell more bloody uh, puns. Apparently, the cat cut her tongue. Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> See, this is the problem with uh, uh, Google Hangouts because it's not going through YouTube anymore. I can't actually click on Rick and then uh, do anything to him. You see, it, it doesn't work anymore. Uh, so. Uh, <clears throat> All I all I have left to me is simply to eject him, and that's what I'm going to have to do. I'm afraid. It's so, just gonna. So it's come to. We're gonna have to put him down. Put him down. <laughs> no, you Chester. He's my Canadian. I'll do it. <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Come on, Rick. Look at the rabbit. Look at the rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> Joe Maroney says, now the possessed kid on Evil wants to be a comic book artist, and the actor who played Cage is teaching him to draw. But now there is a dead baby in the pool, so no drawing. I have no clue what that meant, but it sounded good spoken uh, that way. I guess so, yeah. Um, it is spooky season. It is spooky season. It is Halloween time, man. Uh, I actually got a, in, uh, let's see, what is today? Today's the 17th. Uh, in two weeks, I got myself a big old Halloween party uh, for my uh, my school. And uh, uh, we're going to have a, a lot of fun with the kids. And they are they love it every year. So I'm expecting some really cool costumes. And, uh, oh, shoot, we'll have, uh, oh, I don't know, 100 plus kids. It'll be big. Uh, and uh, all in costume, we're going to have uh, trick-or-treating, we're going to have pumpkins and decorations, and uh, uh, we'll have uh, all that kind of stuff. And uh, the k Japanese kids love the Halloween now over here. It's a lot of fun. But it was uh, kind of mm -hmm. funny. Uh, yesterday in class, uh, I, was, uh, I gave the kids homework, and um, uh, I wanted them to go and uh, bring in a, uh, a yokai. Uh, yokai is like a fae or a, a mystical being, right? Uh, from Japan, I told them to bring in a, a yokai and describe it in English. That was the homework, so they could uh, work it up and make it really nice. And, uh, uh, of course, each time they would uh, name and describe their yokai in English, I would uh, take my tablet and then I'd bring it up a picture of it. And I brought up a picture of a kappa. A kappa is kind of like a turtle monster type of thing uh, in Japan. And uh, I brought up a like picture turtle? of... turtle? It's a, it's a, Camera? It, no, it's a, it's, uh, no, 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 it's a little different, uh, but it's called a kappa. Uh, it's very kind of one of the standard classical uh, uh, creatures over here in J Japanese mythology. Uh, but I brought a picture and it was kind of a scary one. And like uh, several of the kids were like, you know, started screaming, yeah, yeah. Uh, they were at actually freaked them out. My wife yelled at me, what are you doing? They're only children. All right, fine. This, this is my life. And uh, John Dulles says, uh, Chester, tell us more. Uh, actually, actually. Uh, so now we've gone from I always mention Japan to actually, actually. Uh, make a list yeah. booster. We need a list. Uh, I'm writing it down right now. Yeah, okay. Yeah. You make that list for me because yeah. yeah, we need it because John Dillard yeah. is trying to keep me honest. Uh, now, uh, do keep in mind, guys, we are doing a draw along, so please go over to Twitter and put your art on the hashtag DNQFE. Also, we'd really appreciate it if you guys would uh, hit that share button and uh, let all your family and friends know what's going on so they come over here and join us. Uh, we'd love to, one of these days, hit that 100 viewer mark. Now, of course, you know, after it's all said and done, we have several hundred watch the show, uh, but we'd love to have him in here with us at one time, huh, Booster? 
That would be cool. I would, uh, I would like that. That would make would my cool. that would make me tingle in my special place. It would. Yeah. And uh, we know yeah. it, it doesn't take much for that to happen, but you know, it still is what it is. You don't uh, know me. I know we know you very you well, Mister. Uh, now, of course, uh, Mike, uh, we've been uh, whiteboxing you, and uh, boy, you have a very violent image here. This is quite violent. Yeah, boy. I told you. <laughs> well, that's what I'm I talking about. Back. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it does. That mm -hmm. is cool. And his camera just decided to go out when I talked about it. Oh. That's the thing about technology. Don't talk about it. Don't look at it. It was quantum. <laughs> Adrian right. says, put jazz music and saxophone on the list. Thanks, Adrian. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate all of it. All Chester's little things. Oh, my mm -hmm. little quirks. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, get, I get no respect. I get no, no respect. respect. No respect. Yeah, but it is. Yeah. Uh, but uh, back mm -hmm. on you, Siege, you're, you're being white boxed. And, ooh, she is looking fiercely pissed. Look at that, Oh, well, dude. good. Right. Yeah, no, uh, well, you're a really good artist, actually, Siege. I'm glad you came over and joined us. Oh, uh, your faces you. are great. Yeah, they're my favorite part. They are. I don't know. Awesome. Uh, well, uh, tell us a little bit more more about yourself, Siege. Uh, we've had you on here a few times. You've won the show, going over the Pro Edition, which it sounds like they mistreated you, the bastards. Uh, no, so she's won both the times she's been on the show. <laughs> what do you What do you want to know? You're gonna have to ask me a question. Okay. Uh, well, what is your um, deepest, darkest secret? Okay. What are you ashamed of deeply? Hmm. <clears throat> Probably that I'm sitting here on this show. Oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> Claps. <laughs> Claps. Very well done. Very well done, ma'am. Thank you very much. Uh, but uh, no, of course. Of course the... No, shut up, Rick. Rick, shut up. Rick. No, Rick. This is abuse, Chester. Chista, this is violence. Quit it. It is right, uh, but uh, no, Siege. Uh, um, uh, tell us a little bit about your uh, your art history of yourself, because obviously you've been doing it a while. You're accomplished. So, uh, uh, where where you come from? What do you've done? What have you done before? Um, I I don't. I just practice a lot. That's all I've done before. I just practice all the time. I would just look at video game art all the time when I was a kid. You know, like King of Fighters art or Fire Emblem. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just, I don't know. I just got really interested in art. And I, I have Pat Nagel pictures. I had, My aunt had this Pat Nagel picture on the back of her door. This is why I don't talk. Look, I'm not even drawing now. Um, she had this Pat Nagel picture on the back of her door that I always wanted. And I was obsessed with it. And I just wanted to always draw like that. Well, I don't so, know who Pat Nagel is. Uh, well, Duran Duran. Duran Duran. Oh, interesting. Okay. Yeah, Duran Duran. Yeah. Duran Duran. Yeah. Duran Cover with Duran the, Duran. the white women. The yeah. women with the white skin. They look like porcelain. They look like Grace oh. Jones, basically. Oh, he did a bunch yeah. of Playboy stuff. Yeah, he did yeah. Playboy stuff, yeah. Cool. Uh, thank you. Uh, well, that's oh. that's interesting. Uh, now, um, uh, okay, continue. Oh, I don't. I don't have anything else. That's it. All right. I don't That's... know. I, I don't have like, I don't know. You well, know? how long have you been drawing? How about that? <laughs> how long have I been drawing? Okay. Uh, I got serious about it when I was like 11. So, yeah, that has been, been a while. How long? Exact number of years, please. Exact number 43. of years. Yeah, 43 years. About wow. that. Wow, that's I'm a lot. Kidding. That's a lot. I'm kidding. Yeah. I'd be better than I am now. I'm 26 now. So. Yes, yes. Well, uh, you got because... one year left. <laughs> well, you yeah, well, what do you stop with the All 27 thing? At 27. No, 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 no. Stop it. Uh, but um, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's always funny to me how <laughs> a woman, if she's under 30, she's happy to tell you her age. If she's over, she shall not. Cat, how old are you? See, no comment. No comments. <laughs> no comments. She yeah, actually just... muted as she's cussing me out on the other side. Thank you, Chester. The only reason why I tell people my age is because they always think I'm 15 years old. But of course, you guys can't see me, so. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, well, the voice kind of goes with it, I guess. Yeah, but that's all right. Be young as long as you can. Uh, and it's always a, it's always a, a, in your mind. They say that. Of course, it's a lie. Guys, once you hit 40, everything starts going downhill hardcore. Uh, so don't believe them. That's not true. How old do you feel? Oh. 
Uh, yeah, that's a, it, once again, it's a lie. It's a lie. You can you can lie to yourself and uh, say that I feel thirty, uh, but no, you're not. Your body hates you. It hates you. It's not your body though. It's your spirit. How old is your spirit? Feel? Oh, my spirit is probably about three thousand and fifty-two years old. <laughs> uh, but oh. you know, it's okay. And uh, there's a spirit actually, show somewhere to do with vodka. Uh, well, no, oh, actually, it's the actually, 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 uh, first time I've said these actually. words today, you bastards. Uh, but anyway, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be aware of it from now on. It's, it's beautiful. It oh. is beautiful. Success. It's going to torture you for weeks. <laughs> actually, you know, it, it won't. <laughs> 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 See, John Dillard doesn't understand. I don't care what he thinks. Uh, but uh, anyway. Uh, we, we do have cross comments now cross, um, uh, uh, Rick, uh, I have a problem. Uh, why, uh, Rick, why is there a freaking Canadian flag in this picture? <laughs> you know, she's been sent on a mission in Canada, of course. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> yeah boy. She's on loan. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, no. Yeah, uh, Pablo draws a lot of art that looks like uh, Nagel's art. Oh, well, that's cool. That helps me a lot because I, I know what Pablo's art looks like. He's really good uh, and uh, awesome. And uh, if Pablo is in here listening and everybody else, uh, please go and uh, do a draw along with us. We'd love to see your scalpel zero uh, and uh, just throw it on the Twitter at hashtag DNQFE. Please, please do. Uh, Bullet says, my testicles are down to my knees. I think that's usually a reference to breasts, but uh, okay, Bullet, we'll take it. Uh, uh, Dina says, mm -hmm. Chester is too old to be guarding the strip club now. I am. I am, actually. Uh, I uh, I probably could still do the job at a smaller place, but I wouldn't take a big job anymore. You're right. Oh, well, the body does fail you. <laughs> Why isn't Joshua you know, recruiting her? Well, I don't know. Go ahead, uh, Tank. Oh, I was going to say on sieges, I love the powerful stance. I love that. Yeah. Oh, uh, thank you. I, I had no idea what stance to do, so I'm glad <laughs> you like it. Well, well, yeah, she's a powerful character. She's very, uh, she's at the top of the food chain in the concrete jungles, and she knows it. That, you know, everything else is basically prey. Well, that's Jesus. exactly what I was going for, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, we did show the uh, Apex pre Predator piece that you uh, you had done. Uh, and, of course, uh, that's part of her character, actually. Uh, but, actually. Um, actually. Uh, but, actually, uh, everything that I've seen Siege do so far is quite fierce. So. Mm -hmm. uh, she's a great artist. Here. Thank you, guys. Oh, yeah. And we love Cat, wow. too. Even though she won't tell us how old she is. No, I didn't realize I muted myself. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> I it was mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But you know mm -hmm. how old I am. Uh -huh. uh, yes, I'll do I that know. like five times. Yes, I know. I'm just uh, joking. Uh, it's uh, uh, just picking, you know. Uh, but um, anyway, Cross, if you put a Canadian maple leaf on her costume, I swear to God, dude. <laughs> I thought about it. I did. Jeez. You know, now I, I do. I do have a question for the couple of Canadians that are in here. A serious question. Uh, now, you guys switched over to the Maple Leaf some time ago, but uh, you used to have the Ensign. Uh, what do you guys feel about the shift uh, from the Ensign uh, to the Maple Leaf? Which I, I, I don't like it. I prefer the Ensign. Uh, what do you guys think about that? Or are you too young to understand what I'm talking about? I Why know you what you're I, I know what you're talking about, but I wasn't alive when they did it, so I've always had the red and white one. I see. How about you, Kat? Yeah, I'm too young. So. I see. I don't really. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, there you go. I think it was all but about I, the. I think it was the uh, Maple Syrup Mafia that did it. I blame them. But I actually like this one better. It makes it easier to make costumes out of. I suppose so. I suppose that is true. But it, that's kind of the problem. It's maybe too commercial. You know what I mean? It's not, uh, it doesn't have that old uh, heritage that the Ensign ca carried, you know? Yeah. Yeah. 
and uh, I can feel in the back of my mind uh, that uh, Booster is saying, Chester, this is boring, no history crap. Sorry, I do apologize. Well, hmm? What's an answer? Oh, I, I faced you out a while ago, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Booster. We just lost what the other demographic. No, Chester. What? Say that again. What other things do you know? I oh. know a couple of things. Unfortunately, I don't know anywhere near as much as I'd like to know. It's a problem. You know a lot of things. I do know some things, but uh, in this greater, greater scheme, it's useless. It's just wasted <laughs> trivia. Oh, that's that's really nihilist. You've been hanging around me too much. I know, right? I know. <laughs> uh, of course, Elronimus, you're being white boxed again, and uh, damn, dude. Damn. Look at nice. this. That is beautiful. What do you think, Tank? Yeah, it's what do you think about incredible. It is kick is cool, dude. Uh you know, and it's cool for me too, because um, you know, we get a lot of uh since we changed our format and we're having indie creators come on and uh we're trying to promote and uh you know, unify them into the community and uh, uh try to make you know make make them have success or help them have success. Um uh we've seen a lot of uh great artists and so so artists and not so good artists, but uh uh, it's all good. <clears throat> it's comics. Uh, there's room for everybody and all kind of styles. Uh, but uh, it is interesting, uh, like with today, because uh, if, as you saw me showing you earlier, Tank is actually a very solid artist. Uh, he's very, very skilled at what he does. Uh, it's a, you know, I know he does a lot of things, and a lot of people haven't seen some of the art he's done, but I've seen a lot of it. Uh, Tank is a very solid artist, and it's cool for me when I see the artist trying to interpret the art of a, a very solid piece of art, uh, and uh, it, it's cool. Uh, I like it anyway, from my point of view, and the, I think El Rodimus is killing it, dude. What do you think about that? Oh yeah, team? no, I, I love, I love interpretations. Like, no, dude, I'm a firm, I'm a firm as as a storyteller, I'm a firm believer in the multiverse. You know, and it's like you know, echoes of reality. Uh, I love that kind of stuff. I love Elseworld stuff. Um, I love it when they see take it in interpretation, and they go, "Oh yeah, this is Elseworlds." I'm like, "Oh, oh, thank goodness, it's not continuity." You know, or, or sometimes it's like, ooh, that would be kind of cool in continuity. We've talked about this on Fanspeak uh, yeah. several times. Yeah, we have. Yeah. Uh, but it's awesome. Uh, but I'm going to keep moving down the line, of course. And uh, we're down over to Eric Hawkins, uh, the only Eric we need. Oh, man. Yes, and uh, he'll probably mention some kind of, make some kind of weathers pun. I'm sure he will. Oh, no, no, no. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Now, no, uh, I've already made my word. Whether or not he does, it's fine. Was that supposed to be a joke? I love it. Try again. Come yeah, on, Rick. We, we, we expect, right we there, expect far yeah. less from you, Rick. Come on. All right. All right. All right. He's uh, he's waiting uh, to strike like a uh, cobra. Uh, I'm sure I'll storm in eventually again. <sighs> there it is. There. See, I feel better now. I'll, I'll thunder on everybody's parade. Oh my God! Uh, uh, Eagle forty three says, "Room for everyone but Shadow and Doc Savage." What are you talking about? We love the Shadow and we love Doc Savage. Uh, me particularly. I don't know what you're on about. The best. Maybe we'll have to have a, a Doc Savage day. I think I don't know what what would be better artist. What do you guys think? Uh, a shadow or Doc Savage? What would be more fun to draw? Ooh, the shadow. I'd say shadow, but that's because I have the a tattoo of him on my arm. So you have a tattoo Doc of the Savage. shadow on your arm? Goodness gracious! Yeah. The, the shadow. Oh, for for a second, I was really worried. You meant Shadow the Hedgehog? Oh, <laughs> no. Well, God. everybody would be shadowing us what we drew. <laughs> it's it's like a slow acting poison, you know what I mean? It's gonna kill you. Is no it all Canadians How about... or just Rick? It's Rick, yeah, for sure. Oh wait, no, no. Um, uh, oh, I just drew a blank. What's his name? It's always on fan speak with you. Uh, Todd? You, no, the Canadian. Oh, oh uh, George. George, George, George always got puns. Oh. He's always got puns. We don't, we don't talk about George. <laughs> no, we don't. We try not to. Um, and, and of course, DeWolf you, is uh, the chairman himself. Uh, is uh, Mister mm -hmm. Pun Punatastic? Uh, but uh, actually, Mason, I, we don't, we don't call out his puns. We're afraid of what he might do. Yeah, we don't. That's dangerous. 
Uh, you know what yeah. I'm here. You've got the Punisher. <sighs> uh, so uh, Pulp Night, the Howl Comics suggests. Oh. Yeah, I, why not? I think we should one time. Uh, and uh, we'll uh, uh, mention it to the Pixel, or I'll simply tell him, Pixel, do it! And he won't do listen. it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, uh, we get a little bit of Doc Savage over here from El Rodimus. Yeah, no, I love Doc Savage. Look at that art. God, who's doing that cover? Is that is that Alex Ross, dude? No, it's not. No, that, that's James Obama. Wow, that is. We did all the uh, Doc Doc Savage stuff in the 60s. Here's a sad story. I almost had original art by him for $2. Oh, really? Oh. I was at a thrift store and it was like like a cowboy picture or something. I was like, man, that looks just like James Bama's art. That's really nice. And I was just like, ah, whatever. I'll pass it up. And then I I didn't have a phone or anything with me. And I get home and I look up the name because it was like a can signed and numbered. I'm like, oh, I, I don't even know that artist's name. I'll look that up. I look it up, and it's one of his, like, nom de plumes that he painted under. Yeah. And I was like, oh, my gosh. Oh I was like, God, I had a $900 bad. picture that I could have had for nothing. Wow. It is amazing art. It's absolutely killer art. Uh, and uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, Bullet says, Pixel is too busy playing WoW. Yeah, we know. Mm-hmm. We know. It's true. It That's, is sad, uh, unless true. he's participating in the free hong. I don't know about that. But... Yeah, I think we kind of lost Pixel. He's not he's... very active anymore. No, so he has got... been absent. Yeah. He got wowed by a game. <laughs> God, it, it's like, uh, this is why guns were created. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Just... That's brutal. <laughs> hey. <laughs> That's a little savage. Oh, 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 <laughs> oh no. Uh, please kill me now. Uh, but uh, I do have a question for you because uh, one of you mentioned you have a uh, tattoo in your arm. And uh, I, I probably asked this question before, but I'm a little bit confused. Uh, I am an older dude. Uh, I see so many women these days have tattoos all over their body, like even on their neck. And it's like, why? Who told these uh, these these girls that that's attractive? I don't understand. I'm like an individual, Chester. I'm an individual. What is that? I'm telling my my personal story. It's from (laughs) me. Is that what it is? Is it it really simply that kind of attitude? Yeah. Yeah. Their bodies, their canvas, dude. Uh, no, no. Yeah, that's what they say. No, your body is a temple. Mm-hmm. And you should decorate it appropriately. Uh, no, no, actually, no. Uh, Chester, you and I are almost the same age. I'm a year younger than you, I'm proud to say, but I, I've, I've got uh, three tattoos Damn. myself. Yes, I wasn't talking about men with tattoos. I was talking about women with <laughs> large neck tattoos and face tattoos and tattoos uh, all over their arms and their legs. It's uh, sometimes it looks has tattoos on her arm and legs. God no, dude. You're you're She's wrong. She's got Bella Lugosi uh, on her on her uh, calf. Nope, you're wrong. I disagree. Who does? Yeah. My wife. That was her cool. first love. Was Bella Lugosi? Ah, Bella Lugosi is cool. Uh, but uh, yeah, but see the thing is, putting on your leg or something like that, you can cover it when you have to, right? Uh, but the uh, you know these ones that I see, because I see more girls with these neck tattoos than I do guys, right? Um, and of course you can, you, you know, having a tattoo where you can cover it and stuff is fine, but, uh, I, I just don't understand the, the neck tattoos. They just kind of take me out. Uh, but it's also like, um, you know, I remember when a girl would get a tattoo, she get like some cute little butterfly or bird or something like on her breast or, uh, something like, uh, above her, uh, belly button or, or, or like a tramp stamp or something like that. But it's, it's just, it's evolved into this, uh, Wow. I guess I'm just too old. Well, see, to... those are whores. That's true. That is true. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Well, I do come from the stripper co- stripper world. I do apologize. That's what I'm used to. Yeah. Just kidding. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, do a lot of Asian women have tattoos? No, they, of course they don't have tattoos. No. It's an absolute stig- uh, stigma here, uh, especially in Japan. If you have a tattoo, you're a member of the Yakuza. They won't let you in bathhouses. They won't. There's a lot of places you can't get into in Japan if you have a tattoo. Actually, they're very, very against uh, it. Why do you want to go into a bathhouse? 
Uh, it's culture, dude. It's mm. culture. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I don't get it either. Going soaking in ridiculously hot water that's literally cooking you. Uh, but that's what they do. And they and they're multi gendered uh, bathhouses as well. Oh. Well, that might be okay then. No, no, because they're usually about <laughs> sixty years old, so <laughs> gentlemen, please. There's a lady in the house. Uh, why, there's, uh, there's two. two. <laughs> Actually. Actually. Uh, stripper That's pretty story impressive. Time. We had three last week. We did. Yeah, we have a lot of ladies over here. Uh, wow. You know, because we like great art. And we don't care what your gender is. Unlike the <clears throat> edition. Of course, I have no clue if Apparently, that's true at all. <laughs> Chris Tuay says it's stripper story time. I think, it, I think it's time, Chester. It is time for stripper story time. All right, let me stripper story, story time. Oh. Stripper story time. <laughs> God, uh, let me see here. Uh, I, I've told all the best ones though. Uh, let me see here. Maybe I'll, I'll make one up. up. Uh, Have you well, ever ripped a nipple? Make it up. I wanted to be. I uh, wanted to be a, a true story, so it's more entertaining. Um, it can be based on a true story. Same thing. Hmm. Oh, I told you the one about the uh, the girl with the bottles, right? No? Did you? What bottles is this? Oh, okay. I'll tell that one. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> there's a girl. Her name was Love Potion. And, um, <laughs> That's and the she, worst stripper name ever. I know. It's, it's beautiful. She was actually a very attractive girl. <laughs> Uh, but um, uh, she got up on stage and she did this whole uh, routine uh, where she would take a, a champagne bottle. Because, you know, one of the things about strip clubs is uh, they uh, they make their money, uh, 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 of course, off the uh, lap dances. There's a lot of money to be made. But uh, the, the house makes its money off of table service, right, uh, which is usually some crystal or something like that. They spend ridiculous amounts of money on a bottle of champagne. Uh, so uh, she had would always ha come on stage with a big old huge magnum bottle of uh, Cristal, and uh, she'd do her little dancing and her little stuff. She put it down and she'd strip off and do all that kind of stuff. Uh, and then uh, she would do this little thing where she would put it underneath her and she'd do a split, a gymnastic split down <clears throat> onto it, quite literally. <laughs> Oh. Uh, it's very interesting. It was okay. It was all right. It was interesting. And uh, but uh, I remember one night when she was doing it, uh, she was doing her little split down on top of it, and she slipped. <gasps> there was blood everywhere. Had to rush her to the ambulance. Yeah. <laughs> it's stripper story time. It's stripper story time. It's stripper story time. It's stripper story time. Happy. The best thing about that is somewhere there's a nurse that has the other side of that story. Yeah. That's telling oh, no. it someone right yeah. now. And that's a full well, on well, the saga true story. Continue. Yeah. I guess you need Brandy could be a. Let's hear for your stripper story time. Yeah. I'm sorry, Kat. Did you appreciate my story? <laughs> uh -oh. Wow, dude. Mike okay. is killing it over here, dude. Tank, look what Mike McMahon is doing. He's no, I'm so geeking out, dude. It's so awesome. Jeez. Hi. <laughs> Matt says Chester. Well, WTF? I do apologize. Yeah, you guys made me do it. <laughs> you made me do it. <laughs> it was better than the story they, they last week it. about the uh, toilet on stage. Oh no! Yeah, that wasn't mine though. That wasn't oh, mine. Yeah. Matino at Coda story. That was hilarious. That was so gross. <laughs> it was such a weird You're story welcome, to come out of her, boy. too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mike, why do <laughs> you uh, shut your camera off, dude? What? You shut your camera off. I am white boxing you right now. Dang it. Oh, there it is. It's back. My battery's right. dying. There we go. Uh -oh. Imagine the call for that. Uh, well, actually, uh, uh, you know, I'm the one that went up on stage and picked her up and took her backstage, actually. Because uh, I was, I was in, I was actually running the room at that time. Uh, but uh, did the bottle break, or was it just really up in there? Oh no, it didn't break. No, you, dude, it's hard to break oh, one of those crystal God. bottles, dude. Yeah. Oh, that's worse. Yeah. And it was she was back in a uh, in a few uh, a few weeks actually, so it wasn't really that devastating. But it was just uh, after pumping out ten kids, I'm sure that was nothing. Uh, well, no, she was a young girl. I don't think she had had any children. Uh, but um, it's so like uh, four. yeah, uh, other than corks, <laughs> yes. Uh, but um, <laughs> no, it was just weird because I'd seen her done uh, done that routine so many times, and she never had a problem. Uh, and it was like the first time, and then she never did it again. By the way. Yeah, uh, that's when you mess up. You get too comfortable. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> stripper in a bottle. A Chester Busby adventure. Uh, Goodness gracious. That's pretty good. I'll take that part. She she did. She did, Rick. Thank you. Uh and once again, your camera went off on Mike. What's going on, dude? I'm having problems. <laughs> Alita says I call she <laughs> <laughs> Alita says, uh, Mr. Busby, uh, with all due respect, are you or were you a pimp? No, I was just a, a bouncer at strip clubs. Did it for 12 years. Hmm. And no, Mets, I didn't steal her ear. God. <laughs> See, you regret telling us that one. Yeah, I do, actually. Yeah. <laughs> You guys just run with that one. Oh, Chester, did great. you marry the bottle girl? No, I didn't. I never laid a hand on her. Well, I did lay a hand on her. I picked her up, actually. Uh, but um, no, I, I dated two strippers in my life, and I, I had fun, and I learned my lesson doubly. Because here, here's the thing. Never, ever, ever, ever date a stripper. This is my advice to all of you. It's, it's not. Are a we good supposed idea. to ask why now? Uh, you want to ask no why? One why? Strippers, I would never have been born. <laughs> <laughs> well, no. I, of course, I'm joking. I actually did one of the strippers I did was a really nice lady, actually. Uh, but um, uh, no, uh, strippers unfortunately uh, come in two variety only. And it's quite weird because when you look into other professions, uh, you find all kind of people doing the profession, right? Uh, but strippers is only two types. You get the absolute moron that you're surprised that they can even remember to breathe. yeah. And then you have the girl who's working her way through college, which tends to be quite bright, right? And that's it. There's nothing in between. There's no, uh, there's no oh, I like dancing, or there's none of that. You have the absolute moron, and you have the girl working her way through college. Uh, that's And that's it. Uh, the girl working her way through college can be fun. Uh, the other ones are just dangerous. Uh, Pencil for Lies, Brad. Hey, you showed up finally. Uh, he says, uh, Chester, uh, did I hear you right? You dated two male strippers at the same time. Uh, who did uh, Who did you tug first? Uh, well, thank you very much, Brad. Uh, no, I, I've never actually done that. That's a more of a question for Booster. Uh, Booster, do you like male strippers? No. Uh, no. Be like the Three Musketeers. But out go. of sheer curiosity, though, someone told me that I needed to look up male uh, pole dancers because someone that was said they didn't know if male pole dancers existed. I was like, out of sheer curiosity, I Googled that. And they do, and they're strong. It's scary. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, no, I worked it. I did work in one uh, uh, one gay club once. Uh, and, uh, yeah. yeah, and they, and I tell you what, uh, the gay dudes tipped because uh, they give her uh, all the, at the end of the night. Uh, the all the strippers have to take a certain amount of their money. They're not really restricted. Well, it depends on where you work, but they're not really restricted in how what percentage they have to give you, uh, usually. And uh, but they give a certain amount out and it's shared amongst all the bouncers, right? And uh, uh, but the the male uh, the the gay club guys, they tip a lot better. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's I work. Why is that? Is it is it out of shame? What is? I it? don't know, dude. Uh, I would have worked in more male uh, strip clubs if I could have. But I mean, it's yeah. uh, there's I mean, not they, enough. There's they, not they many. are the best tippers in general. Oh my god, they are, dude. Yeah, I worked at a restaurant, and the one the one manager is like, you know what? We're putting up a rainbow flag because everyone's going to walk out of here with like three hundred a night, and he was right. Oh yeah, absolutely, dude. Uh, and, well, a you night know, you'd make like two hundred bucks, like for two hours work. Absolutely. Now, if you work at some place like the Gold Nugget or the uh, Crystal Palace or some of those big places like that, you're going to make killer cash no matter what. Uh, but I just the, the the gay dudes are more uh, gracious with their money. They're more, uh, you know, they're just better with it. The, the girls are real tight with the money. They don't have kids. I don't know. Well, some of them do. Did you say kids or tits? Both. I mean, uh, yeah, not having kids <laughs> means you got more money to spend. Oh yeah, no, maybe, money. maybe that makes that makes more sense than tits. Yeah. I mean, you don't see any uh, t-shirts that say "I support single dads." 
Well, I am showing the art. I could run through it real quick if you'd like. Uh, I've been just kind of showing it as normal, but I'll run through it quick. Sure, uh, Bullet. <clears throat> of course, I've been showing Siege here. She's starting to do her inks. Uh, we are about an hour in, so uh, uh, it's a good time to get, see inks coming down. Uh, this here is uh, uh, Rick, and of course now the uh, C Canadian Shield is in the background. All right. Okay, Rick. Uh, we have Erotimus here is doing his bit uh, for, the, uh, uh, for the effort. It looks really nice. Uh, here we have uh, Eric uh, Hawkins, of course, is uh, throwing up uh, his uh, scalpel zero. Very nice. And he says, be right back. So he's left us. Uh, Kat here, of course, is uh, doing hers. So can you bring it down a little bit, Kat, so we can see it? Oh, I love it. Yeah, she's looking all, all sexy and, and timid and like, who, me? I didn't do anything. <sighs> Something like that. That's what, that's what I feel. Uh, then we have McCrank here. Uh, McCrank is uh, giving his Norwegian effort, uh, which is awesome. He's starting to do a shading, too, so things are going to get really cool. Uh, we have uh, Mike McMahon, who is uh, getting his inks in. This is going to be a badass piece, dude. Uh, but uh, nice. looks really, really nice. And uh, there you go, guys. This is what we got going on. Uh, let me come back over here to uh, Rick for a little while and uh, let us see what he's, uh, what he's doing. Oh, my God. Why is the Canadian Shield in there, Rick? Just curious. They're in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they have it. <laughs> so, therefore, every time we're in America in a Marvel comic book, Captain America should be somewhere in the background. I get it. Write that down. Of course, of course. Write that yeah. down. We need that. Uh, Nasser Abadi is in here. And John Wayne, I mean, one or the other. That's true. That is true. Uh, Nasser's in here, and he's saying, uh, he's going to say, go cat, and he's saying, like, uh, uh, go siege, and he's he does his loyalties are split tonight. You can only vote once, Nasser. Mike gets upset if you do more. Don't upset the mic. Vote for uh, cat. Mic. Cat really needs this win. <laughs> 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 let's see uh, model 3 that's what boosters arms look like after watching male pole dancing I, I don't I know what that. you mean I oh neither, I see he's uh, all buffed up I will neither confirm buffed. nor deny that statement <laughs> duh Chester All right, thank you Adrian uh, goodness gracious um, <clears throat> uh, Pope Raven says uh, you're a genius Rick when I grow up I want to be just like you it's Cyberpunk Canada, Adrian. Re uh, a bullet says, Rick is teaching you all about promotion. It's true. He is. He is. Even though we're here to promote Tank Ferret, uh, he's certainly going to do self-promotion, which is awesome. Awesome, awesome. Next. <laughs> shameless. I love it. Yes. <laughs> that's that's my favorite kind of promotion. The shameless type. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So now, Tank, we haven't heard from you in a while. We know this because you suck. Uh, but uh, please, um, you know, enlighten oh. us with your robot voice. <laughs> yes, dear, that's supposed to be our agreement. Your wife might be watching. Oh, no. Go ahead. Dude. No. no. Uh, anyway. Uh, that's enlightening. Hold on, wait, Thank wait, you. Sorry. Very entertaining. Yes. Uh, Pope Raven says, uh, Pope Raven has a question for Rick. Uh, Rick, are you ready? Are you paying attention? Sure. All right, cool. Uh, Pope Raven says, Chester, can you ask Rick about his kiss cards? I shall. There's only been one. There's only been one kiss card. Um, mm -hmm. Pope Raven mm -hmm. commissioned me to do a um, drawing of cat and then paid me extra to put lipstick on and kiss the card and then mail it to her. Okay, did you do this? Yes. Did, did you get okay. did you right, get a cat? <laughs> but I don't I don't have cat's address. She gets me to mail it to oh. model. So I'm not sure. I see. <laughs> I see. And and, and, I see. And, uh, and there's no wonder in the world why she did that. I I'm I you know, it's a shock. Uh, but uh, Rick, uh, so why why did you put lipstick on and kiss a card? Just back up a little bit. Uh, lipstick on, kiss card. Uh, who said? Who tried to get you to do this? Pope Raven. Pope Raven. Okay. So uh, what I'd like to know, Rick, is exactly what won't you do for money? 
Uh, a lot of stuff. <laughs> Lipstick. Was there any tucking involved? Have you ever seen a crisp twenty dollar bill, Jimmy? Get his case. You ever seen a grown man nagged? <laughs> well, hey, who's sicker, me for doing it, or Pope Raven for thinking it up and getting me to paying me to do it? Oh no, definitely oh, you, you for doing you, it. Definitely yeah, you. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. You. Yeah. Yeah. Without question. Yeah. There's no question. Yeah. yeah. No question at all. I'd say Pope <laughs> Raven. <laughs> But so maybe Kat, I'm a bit biased. Kat, did you enjoy your uh, lipstick Rick kiss? I haven't got it yet. Damn so, it, uh, Rick. I wasn't there hey, to uh, witness the stream when uh, when it was all going down. So. Oh, no. <laughs> Model says he had to use lipstick because he couldn't find a Sharpie. Uh, there's a lot of Sharpie <laughs> jokes in here, Rick. What, what's the Sharpie joke about? <laughs> Probably because I use the Sharpies a lot, the bigger ones. Oh, I see. Yeah. They, they say they're going to attack you and steal them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, Rick, Alita did says. You this oh. on camera? I guess. Uh, Alita says, Mr. Busby, if Rick does not show us a picture of him with lipstick, uh, then it uh, it never happened. Uh, do mm. not ask what uh, he do with a champ champagne bottle. <laughs> what is this about? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. See, there's another story I shouldn't have told. Let's see, this is the problem, Eric. I don't know why you tell me that. Story. Sorry about uh... that. Sorry about that. Yes, the Busby lore expands. <laughs> Goodness I like. I lo this is my favorite arc in the anime. <laughs> is it? Is it? I'm glad. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you're happy. Uh, but uh, yeah. now, Eric, uh, you're uh, starting to get your inks down here and uh, uh, starting to lay out your character a little bit better. She get a band aid on her nose, which is very tank girl of you. Uh, so uh, yeah, cool. Uh, what do you think about your uh, piece you got working on here today? Uh, I like it. I'm kind of happy with it. I love it. I hope it turns out really good when it's finished. Well, thank I you, love thanks. the pinky in the air. <laughs> I, I love, love that. drawing That's a pinky nice in the air when I draw a gun. Well, it's like my wife has this one joke she she loves. You know, she just like puts on her like most evil and aggressive voice, and she goes, "I am a delicate flower." Um. <laughs> oh no! And how many how many kids yeah. has your wife had so far? Oh, well, six, man. The six, yeah. I, 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 I reminded her they're not Pokemon. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, gracious. And Nasser says, Siege is too busy to work with me. She's just being polite. I'm too busy to work with you? What? Nothing, nothing. They, they, they ignore everything I say. Move, move on. You. Moving on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <Aww. laughs> nice. <laughs> Pope Raven says, "Cat, you're supposed to say the kiss card was uh, was awesome and the best thing you ever got. Everyone should buy one." Mm, yeah. yeah. Cat. Cat. Best thing I ever got. Right. Everybody should buy one. Uh, that wasn't a <laughs> ringing endorsement. <laughs> I'm not told. <sighs> now I, I do yeah, have a question is, uh, because you uh, you guys know that, Rick. <laughs> I, I got a question. You guys know I can't uh, really watch the Pro Edition anymore because I'm I'm working. Uh, but um, uh, so I haven't actually seen the Pro Edition in a long time, ever since I stopped doing it. Uh, but um, probably for uh, the best. Uh, I don't know. Uh, that's the question I have. Now, I know some of you guys certainly watched the Pro Edition yesterday. Uh, so they were working on Legion of Doom. Now, uh, did they focus on a single character or was it any no. villain? Any. Yeah, no, it was just any villain, yeah. Okay. And then they added some in too. Okay. And uh, uh, and who won the show? I did. Mike. <laughs> Mike did. Oh, okay. And uh, Mike, uh, what did um, uh, what did you win with? Well, he technically won because Malin trolled him again, or the war campaign did. They went in and voted him up very big. Just a bit confused. Like Just a bit confused. A little yeah. bit, yeah. Mike uh, handed the trophy to uh, Alejandro, the guy who did the uh, Black Manta. It's just incredible. Oh, yeah, it was awesome, cool. Yeah, yeah. It was crazy yeah. cool. 
Well, yeah, hold on yeah. a second. Because that was the silver medal by technicality. But I mean, since it was a fun, you know, it was just it was a silly troll. You know, okay, cool. You know, whatever. The legit winner. You know, and that's what he was. And so that's that's totally good. No, so Mike played it off Mike well. Took Mike's win away. Yeah. Yeah. And gave it to the silver the medal because that was a legitimate did. winner. And that wasn't a, a confused. So what is it exactly that Malin did? Explain it to me. Oh, they were trying to, to uh, yeah, they were trying to like, oh, we're going to vote for Mike to make it look like Mike's cheating and rigging the uh, polls. Yeah. Uh-huh. And of course, they're dumb and, and they announce this. So Mike's just like, oh, no, I'm not taking it. Giving it to the other guy. <laughs> Okay. And I think that silenced them after that. I see. So uh, what you're telling me is the pro edition has turned into a complete debacle. More yep. or less. Yeah. At the moment, oh, yeah. It's mostly intact. Mostly intact. Oh, okay, okay. But uh, well, honestly, like last night had the best art I've seen on there, like draw along and on the stream, like in the whole The year. show itself is fine. It's just there's a lot of silly noise surrounding it. Oh, yeah, I the see, politics see, get in the way. Uh, well, uh, who was uh, who was on drawing last night? I mean, obviously we had John, we had Mike, we had Mike. Uh, who else was on? Oh, Siege. Yeah, there, Siege was was on there. On there. Yeah. there was some girl yeah, on was there. There was some girl on there. I voted for Siege twice. Did you? <laughs> oh, How can one. you vote twice? Don't give out I the, voted the for one. industry secrets. Uh, who else was on? Did we have Fernandez on there, or did we have? Um, yeah, you know, uh, Fraga or anything like that. Well, who was on? Didn't Elliot leave Twitter? Yeah, Elliot's left mm-hmm. Twitter. What does oh, that have to do with uh, Drone and Gordon? Well, no, Elliot wasn't on. Kanan was supposed to be on, but he he apparently was asleep during it. I see. Yeah. He overslept. Uh, the guy that did the Long Harbor, he's the one that won. Uh, oh, that was him. Oh man, yeah. his art's awesome. Yeah, Hold on, really why good. did Elliot leave Twitter? I don't know. I he's tired, he's tired of, of being a doll. Hmm. Yeah. yeah, it, it gets Whatever. tiring. Yeah, yeah. Mm. he was on last night too. Well, it doesn't get tiring for me because I don't actually uh, use the Twitter in that way anyway. Oh, that's that's for the best. Yeah, and if, I don't know why people use Twitter at all. It's absolutely a, uh, it's just a disaster. I know it's a, you know it's one of the worst things I've ever seen humanity create. Actually. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Art and was on. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Auntie Bear was on. He's always awesome. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. You know what's funny, Chester, about Twitter? Yeah. Is that, ironically, that is where I have the coolest interaction with my fan base. Like, it yeah. is really awesome mm. and uh, whatnot. And that's because I don't get into the drama. Mm-hmm. Should I dodge the noise? How are you going? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, just keep it light and fun, man. I'm about comics. I love yeah. indie comics. I, I am pro indie, biased towards indie. That's why Chester and I get along so well. We're both so biased. We are extremely biased, damn. And uh, Junkard Dunn says uh, Sergio Cariello. Oh, I know. I know him. We've talked to him before. He's pretty good. Uh, I'm pretty sure we have. That name sounds too familiar. Is he the, uh... He's got the garbage man, trash man? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we talked yeah, to him. Yeah, Aaron yeah. yeah. Um, uh, let's know? see. Jennifer H said uh, uh, that uh, Doug did opening. Nasser says Doug's opening was the goat. Um, uh, are you telling me that Doug to Naple was on the uh, pro edition? Just for uh, for an yeah. opening segment, yeah. Really? It was quite funny. <laughs> oh, it was beautiful. It, it's worth watching. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, you should, you what what did he it. say? Because I thought they were like at war or something. No, we're not. We're not. We're not going to tell anybody. No, no spoilers. Go watch it. Yeah, you just have to watch it. It's great. All right, well, it's right up there with Ric Flair, I would say. Sweet. All right, I'll go check it out. Uh, Evan Ho- Hotep is a very, very smart man. He says, "I like this Chester fellow. He sounds wise." Oh, thank you very much, <laughs> um, Chester. Why are you uh, writing yourself in the comments? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> using one of your alts again, Chester? Was this <laughs> I, I, me <laughs> using one of my alts? Uh, the guy who puts his actual Chester C. Busby the Third as his name, yeah, yeah, that's me and uh, that's alt, that's alt how Evan. what makes your alts. Uh-huh, that's yeah, 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 yeah plausible deniability. Uh huh, uh-huh. <laughs> could be, could be, could be. 
good bit. Yeah. Yeah. It's weird because uh, <laughs> actually people are saying, that's your real name? Because people thought it was some kind of cartoon character I created. I'm like, thanks, guys. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate it. I got Hanna Bob Barrick on a character. Yeah, your yeah. name sucks. It sounds like a cartoon character. Like, thanks, guys. I, I said it, it sucked. I thought it was awesome. It's like, it's like Bugs Bunny or something. Yeah, it's great. <sighs> yeah, my whole life. Imagine uh-huh. growing up as Chester Cornelius Busby the Third in elementary school. Cornelius. Imagine, okay? Because you know yeah, that's what the C the, is. It's Cornelius. It is Cornelius. Cornelius. Uh, but uh, when you sit in the first day of class, what does the teacher always do? They call out your full name, and then they ask you what you want to be called, right? So, and no matter what group of kids I'm with, they all know that I'm Chester Cornelius Busby the Third. So you right? like, you know, Charlie or something? You didn't have like a nickname? You're just Chester your whole life? Huh? No, actually, no one calls me Chester. Just you guys. Oh. Yeah. Oh. What do you like to be called? Oh, what, what do they call? What What's your real name? What What do they call you? Uh, it Please depends change. on who's talking to Chesty. me. Uh, uh No, I'm never Chesty. had that one. Uh, but uh, <laughs> Chet is usually what I get. Uh, my grandmother Chet. and uh, aunties call me Chetty, of course. Oh uh, no! So cute, <laughs> Chetty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, and then. <clears throat> that's a good one. There you go. Uh, but you um, call you say that again. No one calls you Chestnut? That's a good one. Uh, no one calls mm. me Chestnut and lives. I'm going to start calling oh. you Chestnut. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Chestnut, <laughs> don't be like that. <laughs> yeah. uh, but uh, no, I've had many nicknames in my life. Uh, most most Westerners do. Well, we have nicknames. I think the one I had the longest was probably Bugbear. Uh, but uh, it's been a long time since that's been used. So, Yeah, thank you, Damnation. Yeah, yeah, Bugbear. Uh, but... Uh, Busby Aru. Uh, no, everyone over here calls me Chetto. Oh, I like that. Gesundheit. You like that. Gesundheit, right? <laughs> but I don't know. Uh, most of you guys have uh, pretty uh, uh, normal names. I mean, Booster here, his name is like the, the most standard thing you could possibly have. Oh, oh you got to dox me? You got to dox me? I didn't dox you. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. Chestnut baby, thanks, Bullet. Uh, but uh, Chatty, yeah, yeah no, that, that fits, that fits. And just put Kathy after it, or Chetty. Uh, actually, they spell it with a, a C H E T I E. Interestingly enough, uh, but um, uh, I don't know what what is our what is our first names here? Uh, uh, if everyone wants to give it. now, Siege, uh, uh, are you uh, not into doxing and uh, you don't want to give your first name? What her name? Oh was well, Siege. my name is CJ. That's my that's my name. So that's yeah. why it's Siege. Got together, yeah. Oh, CJ. Okay, okay. Yeah, CJ. Uh, CJ all right. Yeah. And, of course, we know Rick Piper is Rick Piper. Uh, yeah. Rick, super simple standard name. Rick Elrodimus, uh, do you have a, a first name you would like to uh, disclose? That's just the doxing stream. What is this? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's my first name. Elrodimus. Yeah, my, my mom loved Transformers. So she's like, mm, Elrodimus. Yeah, I, I, I don't believe you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> It's Nebuchadnezzar. Nebuchadnezzar, that's a good name. Uh, Eric, of course, is Eric. Cat, Cat, what's your what's your first name, Cat? Uh, I don't like to say it because it's uh, not a very common one. It's not. Catherine. See, okay, so you're leaving me out to hang uh-huh. all by my own. All right, fine. All right, all right, all right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> How about you, McCrank? What's your first name? Uh, it's a secret. Oh, damn there's, it. Uh, there's, a spy, there's a spy in here that's, that's very curious. All right, I have all to right. Keep okay, all my fine. secrets to myself. Oh, no problem, no problem. Mike is Mike. Very generic. Yep. Uh, Tank, of course. No. Uh, <laughs> Tank is called John. Hi, John. No, well. <laughs> actually, my name is Weston Duggenstar. Uh, I'm not actually yeah. shy about it, but my brand <laughs> is Tank Ferret. <laughs> no, but hi. Weston's a cool name, though. I like Weston. Yeah. Weston's a very cool name. Oh, Why, thank you. Joshua says uh, that uh, his name is uh, Katrina. All right, nice, nice to know. Oh, doxing and right. quartered. Yes, thank you, Nick. Yeah, uh, doxing edition. That's right. Uh, doxing edition. Doxing and quartered. Yeah. Uh, now, Mike, uh, you are being white box right now, and uh, boy, I hope you can finish it, dude. Uh, you literally no, have forty that. minutes. Forty minutes. Yeah. Ah, oh man. Done. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Uh, because this is a killer piece. Uh, so even if you don't finish it, please do finish it. Because uh, oh man, yeah, I'm just gonna incredible. use this big sharpie. <laughs> he's gonna he's gonna cheat and use the sharpie. Uh, but yeah, this is a killer piece, dude. Yeah. Thanks. Are you trying to mock me? Um, 
it, okay. as often as possible, Rick. Yes. Okay. Just wondering. Yeah, good. I'm glad we're on the same page. Sweet. So uh, earlier on, when I couldn't talk, earlier when I couldn't talk, uh -huh. uh, the reason why is that one of the developmental editors came over and uh, grabbed my phone from me and uh -huh. was thumbing through all the pictures. And, uh, yeah, no, he was in quite en enjoying this. He was like, all right, all right. He was commenting, you know, as an editor does, on who had captured what aspects uh, of the character really nicely. And, uh, yeah, now everybody gets a thumbs up from a really picky SOB. Oh, there you go. <laughs> nice. Oh, there's some great pieces here Ooh. today for sure. Uh, now, uh, Zade Comics says, my name is my name is Back Magic Cop on IGG Indiegogo. Uh, very <laughs> clever of you, Zay. Very clever. Now, of course, Zay Comics has the uh, has the brothers, the sexy brothers. Uh, so, uh, if you guys uh, definitely go check out Magic Cop and support those boys, uh, we want to see them have plenty of yeah, success. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, now, uh, of course, we're sitting here uh, today, guys. We're uh, talking about Scalpel Zero, and I know many of you guys have seen uh, seen it before and uh, and things, uh, especially over on Manny's channel. We've seen quite a bit of Scalpel Zero over there. Uh, and I do have a question for you, Tank, because uh, I, I, I that's another channel I can't go be part of because my my schedule is so tight. Uh, but um, uh, uh, what's Manny up to uh, these days? What what is it? What does the uh, show become uh, in the several months since I've been there? Uh, well, right now, the show is over on ERT's uh, Digital Bullpen, man. Sweet. Uh, that's where the party's going on. Yeah. Oh. Um, Y'all need to go check that out. Uh, it comes on He's good after fan speak. I love Jimmy. Yeah. After Thomas News Today. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's worth a check. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I wish Jimmy it's would great, come on and... Great uh... I wish he'd come on and say hi on the show from time to time, actually. I love Jimmy. Uh, but um, uh, what about Manny? What's Manny doing? Oh. Between the uh, two of you, no one would get a bloody word Chester. on Chester. This is true. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, Skunk Girl's off to the print. Uh, he's doing this out of pocket. He's still waiting on the money from Indiegogo, but he's like, you know, full steam ahead. He's going to fulfill this on time as promised. Uh, and, man, oh, I can tell you, uh, I, I worked on that, helping out with the art direction and whatnot, and that is a good fun quality comic you're if you enjoy comics from the 80s you're really gonna get a kick out of skunk girl well I'm you know very excited you have to get so, it, yeah it is exciting and you have to give props to manny dude uh because mm -hmm. you know he uh had pr progressed he'd done a lot of the book and he had progressed his art had improved and uh he realized he could do a much better job and he went back and did the whole book again before running yep. his project yep. Yep. uh so good on him awesome. uh for doing that Jeffrey. you know what i mean yeah Chester, yeah, he did that four times. Really, Plenty he went well. through the book and remastered it. <laughs> three, he drew the book and then he remastered it three more times. And then he, we actually had to like, dude, I almost had to like fly out to Hawaii to physically restrain him <laughs> from improving the book further. I'm like, no, it's got to go. You know, he's like, no, it's got to go out. All right, it's got to go it's out. Gonna, you know, oh, he, how many is bloody you know, pedantic? But and you know what? And I'm just ribbing him. Uh, you know what? It's also a good quality sometimes, eh? Oh, it's it's really good. No, it's an art. It's an artisanal comic. It, it's it handcrafted is. for or, its audience. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be good. I, I think a lot of people missed out on this, um, and that's kind of a bummer. Yeah, um, well, but they'll just have to pick up the chapter two. It, it yeah, and it, it is one of those things that uh, you really it's you really have to build a community to to get these things off the ground if you don't have a name for yourself. I mean, um, hmm? now and man did that all by himself. Yeah, he did, uh, well, and uh, good on him. And he, of course, Manny's a great guy. Uh, so we we're happy with any success he can have, and hopefully he'll see more and more in the future. Uh, but there's a lot of people here we think that way about. Uh, we uh, there's a lot of great creators not only in the chat right here in the uh, in, in the room with us, uh, and um, you know we we hope everybody has good success. We want to see this uh, uh, indie revival become something because I mean there's some great ideas, great art. Um, it's awesome, dude. I'm I'm loving it, and that's not a McDonald's yep. thing, Rick. I caught you. I got I got a heady on it. Oh, man, no, he good. 
I, I am humbled by the amount of talent and skill and creativity that I see flowing around in this corner of indie comics these days, and I love it. It's 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 not one of those you know the standard percentages like just less than half per, half of you know indie comics fund but this corner of comics whatever you want to call it like most of them fund the first time around they eventually fund like third time is like you know that that's the hard win but it usually happens you know and I, I love it there's a drive a determination a desire to uh, pr- improve and bring something new to the uh, medium that is, you know, graphic storytelling. Yeah, no, fair point. Fair point. Uh, now, guys, uh, we are looking at 35 minutes we have left. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself a cup of coffee because uh, I need a, I need another one. Uh, so, uh, Booster, Booster, Well, uh, 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 what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to un-white box Siege so that whenever anyone speaks, their art comes up, and I'm going to put you in charge. Now, am I making a mistake? That's a terrible idea. Is it? Oh yeah, big time. I oh, agree. Yeah. Terrible idea. Yeah. All right, it's yeah. done. I can't. I can't hold a show to save my life. Okay. Well, I'll be back in That's a minute. That's why I'm co-host. Booster is in okay. charge. Enjoy. He's gonna be a whole minute. So we're all just gonna sit here and we're going to enjoy the sounds for a whole minute. Okay. Everyone ready for that? No. All right, I'm glad you're all on board with that. We're doing silent. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us if about the tomato industry. Oh, I'm not. I'm not doing tomatoes until next February. Oh, yeah, it's going to be... Are you looking forward to getting back over there? Oh, yeah, I'm bored shitless. I need a job. <laughs> I'm actually I'm actually working on a drawing too, Tank. Would you like to see it? Oh, you know I do, Booster. I, I am w- uh, the original Booster Boy. Come on now. No, you are. You are th- you're one of the originals. I am. Just Remember, like, I came out and I Rick hit, O'Head. I Don't to think I forget Riley Rick. You, and and then it was like all of a sudden we were like instant bromates for life. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And then yeah, you left mm-hmm. us for months. I know. And I missed you. I did. I wandered. Anyway, so bad news, everyone. I'm trying today. <laughs> it's good. So, so it's not oh, a misery. Dude, heck yeah. So I actually I'm I'm trying at the moment. So this is what I've got so far. We're gonna yeah. have as, as, as scalpel zero. That's like I think that's the first cosplay scalpel zero picture. Well, no, this isn't that's actually. Going into history, I didn't actually do Ezra. See, I didn't capture his weird, fucked up nose or his cheekbones like this. Yeah? It's true. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. No, so I'm, I'm, actually... I'm liking it, man. Dude, I love it. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm glad. Mm-hmm. Someone has to love it. Yeah. Okay. Now, so how, I'm gonna how keep bad was going that? back at this? Oh, it was torture. Everyone. Oh no. Everyone's left. Oh god, we lost. Oh, Nick C- I should have read what Nick C said. He should have said, uh, he said, boost in the chat. Time to play truth or dare. Who wants to play truth or dare right no. now? No, hey, R- Rick, truth no. Hey, Chester, truth or dare? <sighs> truth. Um, do you like butts? Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I actually care. I like hips more than butts, actually. Hmm. All right, we got him. We got him, boys. There you go. Uh, which reminds me of a stripper story if you guys would like to have one. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, goodness. All right, give me the music. I need the music. I don't, I don't perform for free. Stripper story time. No, it's that's not the story you, you, time. No, that's not the right music. Tank, huh? give him the right music. You pour some sugar it's on me. Stripper story time. It's stripper story time. Stripper story time. Stripper story time. All right. Uh, I was working this little dive in Albany, uh, 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 New York. And um, oh, Albany is a pit. It is an absolute pit. Yes, it is. Uh, but I was, uh, you know, I needed to make some money because I was trying to uh, uh, get some work up in Albany with music. And, uh, well, anyway, uh, but uh, working in there. And uh, it was the absolute worst lineup of girls I'd ever seen. I mean, just attitude, attitude, attitude. Uh, they were completely, completely useless. Uh, uh, but um, there was this one girl, and uh, she, she just... Um, she just couldn't shut up, and she just ticked the owner off uh, to no to no end. And he basically said, "All right, Murder welcome well, number one." Right. Well, uh, don't make the the owner angry. Uh, and uh, uh, so he decided he was going to punish her. And uh, she had an option: you either do this thing or you leave. Right. And uh, this place is one of those. Uh, uh, it was actually 
felt more like a European style stripper club than an American one. Actually, they did have a stage and a court bar and all that kind of stuff, but they also had like a, a side section that had all those booths. Uh, and there was two rows of them. There was one row, uh, which had like, you could rent a video or something like that. And, uh, there was another row, which uh, actually had the little, uh, stripper window, right. Uh, which, uh, is, uh, you know, that's usually a European thing. We don't do that in America so much. Uh, but they had that at this place. And, uh, he basically made her for a whole week. Uh, she had to, uh, clean up, uh, after, you know, when the, when the, the when the place closed, she had to go clean up all the, uh, uh the little booths which is not a pleasant job, you can imagine, right? And, uh, uh, you know, so the whole week, and she's complaining and stuff like that, but she did it because she wanted, she wanted to keep working there. And uh, I noticed a couple times during the week that I saw her, like, uh, uh, carrying a bag out, but I didn't think of it, right? And then, like, the fourth or fifth day in, I saw it again, and I noticed it was full of, like, tissues and stuff. And I went over and I said, you yeah. know, what, what are you doing with this? He says, it's the garbage I had to clean up. And I said, so what are you carrying around for? Well, I'm going to take it home and throw it away. We have garbage cans here. She was taking the jizz home? She was. It's shipper story time. It's shipper story time. It's shipper story time. It's shipper story time. There you go. Sounds like she didn't get the jizz of how to do that job. Oh wow! She didn't get the jizz. Would have been better. You know, just work on that. Work on that. My water is boiling. I'm gonna go get my coffee. You're in charge again, Booster. Oh no. All right, tank for truth or dare. Uh, truth. Uh, so, um, <clears throat> you like butts? <laughs> <laughs> well, I cannot lie. That's uh, that's all I got. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, do you dare yeah. him to tell the truth? Well, it, well, let's oh. uh, let's talk a little scalpel zero then, man. Let's, let's do that. Let's talk some scalpel yeah, zero. Let's talk about this prototype cyber droid now you know she was a, a prototype cyber droid there's been plenty of cyber droids since you know they're fill fulfill all sorts of capacities robots are everywhere in this in my timeline mm-hmm. uh the most common job in the future is actually being a robot handler um you know you stand around and chat it up with other robot handler all the robots do their job uh yeah we okay. One thing I'm terrified of: do do the robots ever get out of control? Because robots terrify the fuck out of me, right? Uh, I no, I've man, seen I've seen handlers. those videos. I of, that, uh, I heard an f bomb. I I go away and an f bomb I, I, I said I said fuck. I feel it's highly justified when we're talking about robots. Okay, have you seen these videos of uh the Boston Dynamics, right? Where they're like uh, <laughs> brutalizing these robots. They're like beating the shit out of them, right? And then the robots fight back they're like real videos you can google boston dynamics they're abusing the shit out of these robots and i would just like to say so that the internet remember so the robots of the future remember that i disavow boston dynamics and i do not want to be hooked up to your batteries okay well, booster, booster. the good booster. news is that video is you can be relaxed man because you can get a job it's like you just slack around all day and you're in charge of the robot. You just basically hit the off button if it goes all, you know, crazy. You can do, you can do that. <laughs> yeah, 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 you man. Know. It's okay. Yeah, it's okay. You're safe. It's all right. Yeah. Or at, uh, but, at uh, least it looks that way. <laughs> okay. It's funny. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. Lor- yeah. Lorenzo Sleestack, calm yourself, boy. Uh, Lorenzo Sleestack says, I had heard of Stripper Story Time, uh, but that's the first time I heard a story. Well, thank you very much. Star Storyteller says, Stripper Story Time. Uh, uh, stripper storyteller, really? Sorry about that. Uh, I think and... uh, I think my favorite story was just was the uh, the lightsaber story. <laughs> oh, that one that's a good one too. Uh, <laughs> but uh, you know the funny thing about that girl, I, the reason it came to my mind is because she she did have beautiful hips. Uh, she was a beautiful girl, very sensual, uh, but uh, stupid as brick, man. Uh, but um, mm-hmm. <laughs> but uh, the funny thing was her stage name, her stripper name was Lollipop, right? Her real, actual, God-given name was Candy. <laughs> oh my God! No! Oh, if you name your kids Candy. You're just begging for them to become a stripper. I know, right? I know, right? Oh goodness oh. gracious! Hey, hey guy, love this. We'll give you a bright bloody future. <laughs> oh, Off you go, gracious. Candy. Ah, uh, but yes, yeah, strippers are fun. 
And uh, uh, actually, Star Storyteller, that's not even some of the good ones. Uh, we have, we there are some good stripper <laughs> stories. <laughs> Absolutely. You can't work in that industry for 12 years and not come out with some interesting uh, experiences. That's for sure. I, I bet. I bet. Yeah. 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 You know, the worst part of that job, though, and this is not going to sound like a bad thing, but it is. These girls get up there on stage all night, day after day. And, of course, they can touch the dudes all they want, but the dudes can't touch them, right? Uh, but, they, but they, of course, they get horned out of their mind, right? And uh, well, who do you think they take that uh, that sexual aggression out on? Who? Who do you think? Uh, the wife. The bouncers. Damn it. <laughs> the big, strong, tall bouncers. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. It's like we're it's like we're some kind of uh, uh, some kind of therapy or something. It's horrible. It's just you're just an object to these girls. I know Chester. exactly. <laughs> just a piece of meat. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I remember one guy uh, we had because another uh, another position at a strip club is the DJ, right? And um, uh, not all places have a DJ, but a lot of he's places not a musician, do. so yeah, he's got a pretty popular. One. Well, no, the DJs uh, will do announcements and will do all kind of stuff actually, but uh, it's a it's a useful position. But we had a DJ and um, uh, at one place, and uh, he had a huge collection of CDs, right? Uh, and, uh, uh, of course, you know, play all his music. It was real. I don't know how many he had. It must have been 300 CDs or so in this big old black carry case he had. Uh, but, um, uh, he started complaining. He was like, uh, you know, cause CDs were missing and he thought he was, we, we thought he was misplacing them or we looking around and, uh, uh, but he kept losing CDs and we come to find out that, uh, uh, the girls were <clears throat> borrowing them. Mm. Mm. <laughs> so practically, oh boohoo for Chester. <laughs> <laughs> well, goodness gracious. You know what's worse though? Uh, because I did, when I got married, I did work in one strip club after being married for a little while until I got into a, a better line of work. Uh, but um, uh, the funny thing was, the strippers were far more handsy with me once they knew I was married than before. Oh. Ah. Yeah, very interesting. Well, that's dangerous. That's yeah. very dangerous. Ah, no, it was no problem for me. It was easy. Uh, but then again, I've been around naked women for a long time. It doesn't really, it's no big deal for me. Uh, but, oh, um, oh well, they do <laughs> Well, sorry. It just is. You get, you get jaded to it. Uh, but I do have a question for the ladies in here, a serious question uh, for Cat and Siege. Why is it that women become far more attracted to a guy when they know he's married or dating someone? Why? Why do women do that? I have no idea. Yeah, I don't know either. I don't know why women do anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fine. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Neva, that's why they don't like me. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, stop acting like one of them. That would help. <laughs> oh, you, <laughs> you fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty harsh. I do apologize. That was, yeah, yeah, that was brutal. But, you know... Uh, fair, 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 fair. Fair is fair. Now, Booster, I have to say, your piece that you did today, it's actually really good, man. What are you trying to yeah, do I, here? Yeah, I tried. I tried today. How's that? How do, how do you like that? Well, I mean, I'll take it. Uh, I'm usually pre prefer the comedy, but uh, yeah, you know, we we had we you, do joke you, around, but you, you actually know. have gotten better. That's for sure. I, I like to, I like to try every now and then. Yeah, just for a laugh, uh, just switch it up. <coughs> I just dropped hot coffee on myself. Genius oh. over here. Oh, I don't do that for goodness sake. <laughs> it's all right. All right. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty good. Can I see the whole thing or is that the whole thing? Oh, um, yeah, yeah. I'll uh, give us a minute. I'll, uh, I, I've will i been adding details as we go along. Oh, I see. Okay, we'll come back to it then. Uh, well, I have been letting it kind of jump oh, okay. around here. Uh, so we'll come back to Booster when he's ready. But uh, let me kind of go through the art very specific again because some people might not be talking. Uh, now, Siege is... Uh, Killing it as usual. Just really good, sharp art, uh, uh, Siege. Thank you. Yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, it, it, you're, you're, you're really good at that. Uh, and uh, uh, nice, clean, sharp lines. Now, um, uh, I'd asked you this before, but uh, when are you going to be working on a project? I'm starting my comic. I'm doing concepts for my comic right now. Okay. And uh, what, oh. can you give us some general ideas of what you're working on? Uh, it's a sci-fi comic. I don't want to say too much, but it's mm -hmm. it's sci-fi. 
And who's going to be doing your writing for you? Are you going to do it yourself or are you going to hire someone out? Yeah, I, I'm doing it myself. Sweet. All right. That's awesome. All right. All right. Very awesome. cool. Well, you know who can you can promote, who can help you promote when you're entering. Right. Yeah, no, definitely. Come over to Fanspeak. guys, they're pretty cool. Wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> or, or Mike Miller, although I don't know if he's doing that anymore, but uh, Mike would help out too. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> no, it's not time for straw poll yet. We're still 20 minutes away. Calm yourselves. Uh, let's move here. Uh, we have uh, oh, Rick Piper has uh, yeah. She-Hulk is with uh, uh, Canadian Shield in the Canadian Arctic. What? <laughs> what are you doing, Rick? Probably putting in way too much shading or whatever. I don't know. Have fun, Rick. No, no, I think it's all have right. Have fun, man. Mm -hmm. Actually, Rick, I have to say, uh, your background stuff you probably need to pull back a little bit, uh, but uh, your shading on your, your your on your actual figures uh, has improved. Uh, you know, you used to way overshade it, and uh, I think you've gotten better on it, dude. Actually, so good Thank on you. you. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it is nice. Rick to see is. Uh... Yeah, go ahead, Tank. Rick's always improving, man. He he and and Rick's been knocking out pages of uh, Canadian Shield, dude. Like he's Sweet. gonna have that that, that comic's gonna be done before you guys know it. Uh, I I've, I haven't been able to catch it live, but I've been watching it, man. And uh, if you guys aren't going over to Cross Comics, you're missing out. I'm just exactly. saying. No, it's nice to see improvement uh, because uh, I know we've had uh, another person with us, McCrank, here. Uh, in the time he's been coming over, he's improved too. Uh, Adrian is another one we've seen improve, so it's uh, it's really cool. Uh, Pope Raven says, "Don't listen to Chester." All right, fine, be that way. Uh, this is El Rodimus on his thirty fifth uh, uh, art uh, piece of art today, and uh, <clears throat> I, I'm afraid to ask El Rodimus, "What is this?" Uh, this is Wang Wang. Uh -huh. Filipino Good. film star. He's the Filipino James Bond. He's like two feet tall. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh my god. Just look up Wang Wang. It's amazing. Don't no, no, I Wang. know who he is. Uh, I've I've heard of him before. Uh, and uh, Mike, Mike, nose, please. Uh, moving down here, uh, we have. Uh, I'm just kind of going through the art real quick. Uh, Eric is starting to put some final touches on it. Nice, very nice. Yes, yes, yes. It's a little bit of under boobage there. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Uh, okay, and we have Cat as well. Uh, this is more the sweet 16 version of uh, Scalpel Zero, I would say. But hey, I'll hey, take it. I'll take it. Side, it's side, man. It's off the side. Yeah. The camera is blurry, and it, I don't know, after my computer messed up, my camera has not been the same. Um. You know, Kat, you, you really uh, should do like a, a, a YA a comic of some kind. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That would be fun. Yeah. No, I yeah, think yeah. you would be great at it, actually. Yeah. You have that kind of art style, and <clears throat> you have the sensibility for it as well. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, I think you might find some success there, for sure. Yeah. Where I think maybe Siege, on the other hand, needs to do... I'm sorry, go ahead, Kat. No, I just said maybe if I find time. <laughs> yeah, no, I think that would be a good area, a good niche for you. Uh, whereas Siege, on the other hand, to do some X-rated, ultra-violent uh, death machine comic book, I think. Would be <laughs> yeah, mm -hmm. yeah no, the that? look that Zero is given is, 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 is soul-rendering. Yes, um, yeah, you're, rending. I should say, soul you, rending. Yeah, you do angry really well, Siege. Actually, it's, it's, oh it's well, you know, it's my natural face. So oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. All right, there it is. Uh, let's see, McCrank here, of course, uh, getting his shading in, looking nice, McCrank, looking nice. I love the effect oh, yeah. he's got on the uh, leather pants, actually. And uh, make, uh -huh. Mike, mm -hmm. got, Mike, <laughs> damn it! <laughs> what? You're a noisemaker. You're worse than Booster and his drooling. God. Drool that much. All right. Uh, coming mm -hmm. over here to uh, Mike. Oh, God, Mike. God <laughs> damn it. Every time I look at it, it's dude. ridiculous, dude. Oh, this is insane. It is, dude. He's not going to finish it, though. 
I don't think he will. He's got 15 well, minutes. Left. Left. 15 minutes. Well, 15 minutes. Plenty of time. Plenty, he says. All right, all right. Plenty of time. Uh, Adrian says, Cat will be the hottest new shoujo artist. Now, I really no, think no. Cat should do... He can make the drawing if he wants. Oh, Kenny. Well, thank you for permission, Rick. That's very nice. Uh, but uh, no, I'm serious. I think Cat should do uh, some young adult stuff. I think she'd kill it. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna take this off though. I'm gonna let it uh, jump around again uh, for a little while. Uh, we do have 15 minutes left, guys. We really enjoyed you coming along and being part of this, everybody. Oh, uh, it's a lot of fun. My boobs suck. Uh, we can't see your boobs. Thank God. Uh, but um, uh, I'll show my what? boobs in a minute. God, no boobs. No, no booster. Like you are the Bob Master like booster. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, we do appreciate you guys being in here with us uh, uh, every day, and of course uh, every uh, uh, every Thursday as well. Uh, we have a lot of fun with the fan edition here, uh, the ultimate fan edition, by the way. Uh, but uh, one thing uh, we definitely would like to like you to do, all of you who have been drawing along with us, uh, please go over to Twitter. And put in hashtag DNQFE once again, hashtag DNQFE, and uh, let us take a look at your art. At the end of the show, we'll do that. Uh, first thing we'll do is I'll go make sure I show everybody's art very clearly, so you guys get a good look at it. And then after that, uh, Booster will drop the straw poll, <clears throat> straw poll Booster, and uh, then we'll take a look at the draw along. All right. Uh, absolutely. Well, I can't wait. Um, I'm 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 been geeking out this whole time. By the way, that is cool, dude. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Now, uh, Adrian Sorry. has an opinion. He says, yeah. "Chester, shh. The secret is, Cat is going to be uh, Cat's new comic is going to be called Sailor Pastries." Sailor uh, Pastries. <laughs> hail Raven. Hail Raven. <laughs> oh, don't don't hail Raven for goodness sake. Oh, no. Hail Raven. Pope Raven oh. says, "If Chester talked less, we could vote already." Uh, Pope Raven, you can go straight to hell. Straight to hell. Straight <laughs> straight to hell. And take Booster straight with to hell, you. Actually, I'll huh? meet you there later. <laughs> I want to what? I don't go to hell just yet. I want to return to the void. Do you? Goodness gracious. All, All right. right, let's see what you're working on, dude. Come on. I'm I'm white box you, booster. Bring it up. Let's see the whole okay. the all whole right. image. Let's see all it. Right, all right. Top looks okay. Bloody... Give us a whole bloody minute. Right, yeah. right. I'm not no, no, no. this is radio, dude. We don't have a whole damn oh my... minute. You oh got my god. Ten seconds. So here, here we are so far. I got a bloody face here. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Then I got some bobs. Okay. Just uh and, uh, oh no, not my reference. I'm cheating. <laughs> no. Oh my shame. <laughs> <laughs> Star Story says, oh. "Don't tell anyone, Chester." I do I do apologize. Sorry, I apologize. Hail. I don't want to upset Star a Star Storyteller. She'd get mad at me. Yeah, she'll beat us again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on. Mm -hmm. I don't even say anything mean. Pope Raven says, no, you never do. That's true. That's true. Yeah. So, uh, Eric, you've been really quiet today, dude. Say something funny. Go. Uh, I have nothing funny to say at all. I, oh, Booster was playing Truth or Dare while you were gone. Oh, was yeah. he? Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I'm not very good at Truth or Dare. You're not. I huh? just ask people if they like butts, and the answer is usually yeah. Oh, is Everybody it? Yeah, well, butts. people like butts. Yeah, butts. People, I like, I, people like butts. I like butts. I like butts. No, I have a question for Tank. Oh, okay. Oh, shoot. Tank, will there be strip clubs in this future? Ooh. Mm. And will there be a large... Will the bouncer appear in one of these and will it look like oh. Chester? Will he be burly? Will there be what? Will he have a necklace made of ears and yes. eyeballs? Yes. <laughs> <Ooh>. yes. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm roboting really bad. Sad. No, see, the answer is take oh. yes. Of course, there will be a burly bouncer who is bearish looking with a necklace of uh, ears and eyeballs. Of course. That's the answer. That's the correct Oh, answer. yeah. Yeah. No, no, totally. Uh, you know, like you know, weirdo, cybernetic, genetic augmentation type folks. Well, uh -huh. come on now. It wouldn't be cyberpunk if yeah. I didn't include that stuff. Come on. Right. Of course, you're going to sneak Chester in an issue number two. I mean, oh, what? I have no idea what you're talking about. What? <laughs> awesome. Perfect. Perfect. 
Uh, yeah, you know, Blue's Raven on a, on a bullet. Yeah, go ahead. I was say bullet ask. Why? Why is she holding a finger? I'm wondering that myself now. Uh, well, in the picture, why you is she reference. holding her pinky up? No, she's holding oh. in her right hand. She's holding a finger, a severed finger, in the reference yeah. piece. Uh oh. Yeah, she was finger painting. Oh my god. Oh. Oh god. All right, fine. How the hell do you draw hands? <laughs> I, I didn't want to there say anything. There's a whole other creature, my okay. friend. There, but you there, have it, to really think of them as little creatures attached to the larger creature. Right, uh, it's true. And uh, you need to think about this booster as well. Uh, between the hands and the forearms is a thing called a wrist. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll give away all the states. Booster, it's just a hands-on experience to draw the... Oh my god, I'll oh. kill you. <laughs> god, no, god. I love you, <laughs> I will remove you from this plane of existence. I love I love how uh Pixel just burdens us and then disappears. I love it. Thank you, Pixel. Uh, but uh, we do have 10 minutes, guys, before we're uh, uh, done with the show. Uh, so everybody start uh, finishing up, tightening it up. Uh, let me run through the art real quick again. Uh, so you guys can see it. I'm done. Uh, uh, we, we we know we know. Yeah. Uh, this course yeah. is Siege. Is she starting to put her little uh, uh, her little <laughs> Rob Liefeld uh, packs on? Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I got you. Last minute thing. Yeah. No. Hey, you got time? Why not do it? Uh, Cross Comics is uh, here to sell you uh, uh, Canadian Buckler. Uh, is that his name? No, Canadian okay, Shield. Shield. Canadian Buckler sounds better though. Oh, no, no, the Canadian Shield is mighty. Well, yeah, but see, the, it would be the American Shield and the Canadian Buckler. It makes more sense. It's more realistic. <clears throat> yeah, that, that, that's why we have a Canadian landmass called the Canadian Shield. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Well, see, that was a joke. I was I was diminishing you as a country. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Erotimus, yeah, I know. Yeah, I do. Now, Erotimus has done... How many pieces have you done today, Erotimus? Just curious. Uh, One... Two, and started on number three, which is like kind of unrelated. Just some see. dwarf art for tonight. Some Filipino dwarf yeah, I love art. It. Sweet, gotta love that. Just, man. just a little drawing, you will. Yeah, actually, bring up the second one there, where she's uh, in, in a, a akimbo here. Yeah, that's cool. That is cool. Let me see the first one again. Yeah, that's so awesome. Wow. Yeah, dude, that dude. is so cool. It. It, it's eyes. just eyes. It it's it screams tank girl, dude. It's really cool, dude. That is a beautiful piece. Yeah, yeah. wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, uh, moving down here, of course, uh, we have Eric uh, Hawkins with us, and uh, he's oh, a yeah. very finished piece. Look at that tank. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. oh, got a lot mm -hmm. to go. You do well. You don't have time though. You have eight minutes. Hey, did, did did you notice that she's not wearing any pants? And I, I, I did. I did. <laughs> But she looks like Chitara right now, but uh, that's all right. I, I'm okay with that. Uh, uh, but, uh, uh, you know, it, 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 I've said this before, but, uh, Tank, but I think it's pretty interesting with Eric uh, because when he – and Brad is the same way, Pencil for Life Brad. Uh, when they get to the point where they're doing their shading and stuff, it's when their, their pieces come alive. Right? It goes oh, from, oh, that's yeah, not I bad, to, that. wow, that's really good. Right? It is interesting. And I don't know why the hell Nixie is talking about Tim Hortons. God. Oh, hey, Tim Hortons is good. Is although, it? Although I, don't, oh, although I don't drink coffee, it's the best donut place in the world. <laughs> oh, I disagree. I, I, honeydew is the best donut place in the world. How dare you? Uh, but uh, how dare you? That meme is going to last how forever. How dare you? You do know how that. How dare right? you? Yeah. Uh, you got to put some hands on this. Like this crazy middle cover of that how dare you <laughs> i'd rather have a mary poppins song uh but um uh, now eric i i have a question here uh either you're going to put some kind of pants on her or you're going to make her anatomically correct which is it, it it's it's cut off right there oh all right fine, all right, it would fine. Be right oh you can't so take my finger i'm sorry he's so just, right he's, here 
he's he's hinting. Well, actually, there is, uh, anatomically there is more going on above it, but that's all right. Fine, Eric. Shh, shh, shh. Cheat, okay, cheat your audience, sir. Uh, but uh, of course, uh, we have Cat's wonderful piece here, which I think you're done, right, Cat? Uh, yes, yes, I am. I made her. That's incredible. So I finished really fast. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a pretty piece, Cat. It really looks nice. Uh, Booster does it. Really oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, but very nice cat. Uh, and, of course, uh, we also have McCrank here. And uh, nice looking. Dude, the leather pants are absolutely awesome, McCrank. You did a really good job with them. You really have you've, you know, you've mastered uh, Chester, that technique. You know, Chester, yeah? I have been gone for a long while, right? I know. And I was hoping you had developed taste. <laughs> good job good job good on you oh, all right good on you <laughs> really cranking it up there oh wow oh wow. <sighs> all right uh but um uh, anyway uh moving along a uh, mike here is in a desperate rush to get ink on this piece and he has exactly five minutes plenty of time plenty of time all right. I'm going to leave it to bouncing around again. All right. So, uh, the interesting show here, guys. Um, uh, where I think this might be the first character we've had uh, that is not doesn't have an Indiegogo project going on currently. Uh, but I'm really happy we did it. Uh, and, of course, uh, we are going to see a project eventually here. Uh, so uh, now, I had, like, like I said earlier, I had seen some of Tank's stuff uh, before, uh, work he'd done on other stuff. Uh, but, of course, Scalpel Zero is your main focus right now, Tank. But uh, uh, do you have other ideas uh, kind of jumbling around in the attic up there? And yes, I have yes. many ideas. Very good. Mary Poppins is coming. It's coming. It's coming. And he just left. All right, he must have ah. crashed. So there oh, you go, no. guys. Uh, two hours and six minutes and 24 seconds. Uh, Tank uh, Fair crashed out. Uh, so whoever had that number, uh, you win the uh, you win the poll. Oh, good on you. Yeah. Well, well done. You, you he... win. Feet pictures from me. Mm -hmm. He tanked out. He might yeah. turn himself back. He might. He might, Rick. Indeed. Uh, and uh, I'm glad that your 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 witty punness is alive and well. I have to say, I'm appreciative. But you know, it is what it is. The illustrated Ted Danson. Woof. Damn. That's not even. That's that's kind of mean. A coffee table that's book. Brutal, oh, that's, yeah. that's pretty brutal, man. Yeah, yeah that's harsh. Yeah, and you know what I've, I've noticed tonight? The, it's kind of interesting to me, Booster, as these guys are finishing up their pieces with three minutes left. Is John Dillard has been kind of nice? Is he? Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, he can uh, fix that. Not that you made that comment. <laughs> I mean, hell must be freezing <laughs> over. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh -huh. Joshua says Rick wins. Yeah, give, give, give him a minute. For give some him a smart minute, ass yeah. comment. <laughs> Rick automatic win. Piper is a beast. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. Very nice. And uh Ooh. Oh, oh. Puppy dogs. Who is it? Who is a savage beast? <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Oh, he's oh he's a savage. Oh my goodness. There can only be pun. Oh, give him pets. Model do not encourage give please. Him Give him kisses. He sounds like a good boy. Oh, you do. My she is a good boy. <laughs> yes. There you yes, go. she. I'm, well, I'm sorry what, for misgendering your dog. What kind yeah. of uh, what kind of dog you got? <laughs> She's a min pin. A min pin. Oh, yes. Um, mm -hmm. that sounds familiar. Oh, uh, I don't know that offhand though. Let me go check. I'm gonna check it. Min pin. That sounds like the kind of uh, racist <laughs> name I'd give a random Asian. Min pin. Yeah. That's, yeah. Ah, min pin. <laughs> You'll get out of my store. <laughs> okay, so it's kind of like a miniature uh, a Doberman. 
Yeah, that's what. It, yeah, like a little man. Finish your pin. Me and pin. Oh. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. I didn't know they were called that. Miniature uh, pincer. Uh, and they're cute little dog. Are, are they as uh, hyperactive and insane as, uh, say, a chihuahua? Um, no. Well, she is specifically. They're much better. Yeah, she's kind of just a crazy person, but mm -hmm. I love cute her. Little they look like. Oh, no, dogs are great. Look uh, who has fared it back. What did you say, Cross? You made that pun. You made that pun. He okay. did. Yeah, I know. Well, he was I, here. Don't, don't Ugh. listen. Don't listen. Uh, but uh, yeah, no, CJ, I, I have a, uh, I have a miniature schnauzer myself. Oh. That's what she said. Jeez, keep, <sighs> keep that in the bedroom, dude. Wow, picking on well, my that's dog. Any of Rick's joke. It's true. It's true. It is true. Uh, but yeah, no, dogs are great. I love dogs. Uh, anybody else have a dog? Yep. Well, have a Yorkie poo. Uh, it was a long winter. <laughs> 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 All right. Someone said they have a Yorkshire. Uh, what about you, Mike? What you got? We have a, um, it's a uh, Chihuahua Basset Hound mix. Oh, wow. <gasps> Oh my gosh! Does that, that, look like? that might be cute, actually. Yeah, yeah. It, everyone thinks he's a puppy, but he's 12 years old. Aww. Oh yeah. I'll post, post a picture of him on my Twitter. Yes, do that. My roommate has a Rottweiler puppy. So cute. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, Adrian says, uh, Chester, uh, for fan speak, uh, you need to go over Savage Tales, a Red Sonya Halloween special on fan speak. Uh, you'll love it. Well, well, I'll check it out. I do know we need Ooh. to set up our Halloween show for this year, for sure. We need to start thinking about that real quick. Uh, but uh, we have come to the end of our time, however, folks. Oh, look at that. Look uh -oh. at that. There's a pupper. What? <laughs> Dogs are nice. All right, here we go, guys. It is countdown. It is ready to end. Five, four, three, two, one. We are finished. Down. down with your pencils. Down with the erasers. Digital styluses. And uh, thank you guys very much. Great job. Uh, great uh, bit of art we've seen today. And uh, I have to say, Mike, uh, you did a good job getting that much done. I'm actually shocked how quickly that uh, that city ba uh, um, skyscape came in. That was impressive, dude. Uh, but um, <clears throat> all right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show uh, everybody's art. And then Booster is going to drop the straw pole. And then we're going to take a look at the draw along. Uh, so if your draw along has yet to be put up, please go over to the Twitter and just go to hashtag DNQFE and uh, drop it in there and we'll take a look at it. All right. So let's go over here. We submissions today. Uh, we do. Awesome. That's good to hear. Uh, so uh, let me come over here and start looking at the uh, offers. Now, uh, first one we have here is from Siege. Uh, and it's a wonderful piece. Very clean, very tight. Uh, awesome. it's very authentic, I think, as well, Tank. Uh, what do you think? Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. It captures the essence of the character. I mean, that lethal, that lethal look in her eyes is like, yeah, no, you're, you, this is the last thing you're going to see, dude. She you <laughs> just made it in the wrong person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it's um, uh, I I think it's really really good. And if you guys like what Siege has done, uh, then definitely go into Straw Poll and vote for her. Uh, Model Three says, "Look at the scrawny Norwegian neck. Uh, are you picking on? Are you picking on McCrank? Don't you pick on McCrank? You be nice." Uh, all right, uh, coming over next, we have uh, <clears throat> Cross Comics, uh, Rick Piper, and uh, he is uh, selling a Canadian Buckler today. Sweet. <laughs> Uh, so Tank, what, oh, do, you, what do you think? I love, I love Rick, man. He captures the essence of the character. Actually, what's really funny is that uh, my uh, the, the the my the creative uh, director that was working with me on this when he saw Rick's, he goes, "This guy gets it." Yeah, he gets it. He gets it. Yeah, I am yeah, a little bit no, curious of where yeah. they're standing, though. Uh, does uh, the Canadian but does the Canadian shield or buckler? I forget. Uh, the Canadian shield, shield Canadian shield. Canadian shield uh, man. Does, Canadian does, shield's an awesome character. Well, no, I'm just curious. Uh, is he a flyer? Yes. And he is. She's just jumping off the roof. 
Oh, I see. So she's committing suicide yeah. because she's in Canada. Oh. I get it. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> winner, oh winner, God. chicken dinner. Uh, all right, uh, moving along here. Of course, if you like what uh, Rick has done, definitely vote for him in straw poll, guys. Uh, here we have uh, El Rodimus with a really nice piece, dude. Uh, killer, killer, killer. Uh, what do you think about this tank? Tank. Oh, man, no. El Rodimus has been killing it i love this one and the next one like this one i love the feel it just captures that that retro wave that's real popular right now and that's just sharp it is well i love how the skin has come off the right uh, right uh, forearm and hand there it's really cool yeah exposing some you know new prototype cyberware that she has installed you know because that's where it goes before it goes to market you know no, no human testing right there you go. There you go. Awesome. Uh, now, of course, uh, if you guys like what El Rodimus is doing, then definitely get over the straw poll and vote for him. Uh, next, we have uh, Eric Hawkins. And uh, Eric is... Uh, oh, what? Oh. oh, my, Eric. Oh, my. I had some shit. Oh, my. It's naughty. It's a little it's naughty. naughty. Slightly a naughty. little pinky in the air. Yeah, a little it's pinky like... in the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a fine wine. Yeah. Like a fine one. And you know that that, it, that if you pan down any further, not only are you going to get a pleasant surprise, but you're probably going to see a bloodbath. True. Yeah, oh, true. definitely. True. I love it. True. That's why all the clothes are gone. That's right. right. It tells you a little story, man. It gets you to, I, I love, you know, the thing I love about art, man, is that, like, you know, good art is, like, in, the secret in comics is just draw a picture that gets you from one point, sucks you from one point of the story and wants you to go to the next point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, and this picture definitely does that. Awesome, thank you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Uh, well, let's see. Mo- um, Model Three says um, the Canadian butler will scoop up her guts. Well, that's just not nice. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, if you yeah, guys like what you're. Send it back into repairs. Yeah, just, yeah, okay. It's regeneration. It's all right. Uh, but uh, if you guys like what Eric is doing, definitely get over to the straw poll and vote for him. Uh, now, of course, we have Cat yeah, back with Hawkins us. Vote often. <laughs> vote Hawkins, vote often. There you go. Uh, we have Cat with us uh, again today. Very nice to have you back. And uh, uh, this is a uh, really nice piece. What do you think, Tank? Oh, it's absolutely incredible, man. This is great. I love I love the softer side because the character does have a softer side, and we'll get to know this character, you know. So it's it's really nice, uh, and it, it yeah I love cat style too. I yeah. mean I, I agree she should do something in the YA like illustrated uh, storybooks and I stuff, agree. you know. Cause it's like, yeah, it would be it would be perfect for it actually. Uh, but um, <clears throat> no, awesome. she'd be laughing at all those comic people and the pitiful amounts of money we make. Seriously. Right. Well. Hey, there's a lot of money in that area, actually. Uh, but um, Kat looks wonderful. You guys like what Kat is doing? Definitely vote for her in a straw poll, guys. Uh, coming up now, we have McCrank, uh, the actual absolutely cranky man from Nor- uh, Norway. And uh, Tank, what do you think? Oh, I'm loving it, man. I, you know, I, I, I get a kind of like a little, little hint of a, uh, of a soft touch of Aeon Flux. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I like the... Uh... I, I love the uh, the shading on it too, and the texturing on the pants is way cool. It yeah, is very it's, good, it's actually. Cool. Beautiful. Uh, but uh, McCrank, what do you think of your piece today? <laughs> uh, well, you know, the usual. It's a uh, pretty trash. <laughs> Why yeah, are you like this? <laughs> what, who, McCrank, who hurt you? Who hurt? T- she was on the dial where they touched you. Uh, but um, who hurt you, McCrank? I like it. Okay, uh, but according to Me McCrank, too. I have no taste. Uh, but uh, definitely, guys, go over to the straw poll if you <laughs> yeah, like yeah, what he's doing and vote for McCrank. Uh, coming up to our last bit of art uh, today, we have Mike McMahon here. Uh, very happy he came over and said hello to us. And my oh, God, no. Tank, look what he did in two hours. Holy smugs, dude! Jesus, dude! Oh my! Oh my God! <laughs> Bring it down yeah. a little bit so we can see the top. Look at how quickly he put that skyline in. Uh, Mike, bring it down a little bit. Oh, gee, look at that. Look oh, at that yeah, skyline. No, look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Uh, go ahead, Tank. I grew up fast, so I overachieved. Oh, man. That is mental. It is really good, dude. 
and it, it came yes. together in that end too. Uh, Tank, go ahead, give us your opinion. Oh man, I'm blown away at the just like the incredible amount of detail, the uh, ferocity of the scene. You know that sheer grit and determination that is definitely a part of the character, man. This is something <laughs> that you know it, it doesn't know the word fail very well, you know, and doesn't take that. So, yeah, no, dude, it's absolutely incredible. I love the composition. I love the, the dynamic eye flow. Like, look at how the buildings are pointed, and they just, like, <clears throat> they coincide with, like, this eye flow. There's a bam! And the arm, and, oh, dude, no, this is this is top-notch. Incredible. It is really Next good. Next time I'll try. Yeah, try hard. Try harder. <laughs> It's a great panel, dude. Uh, but uh, let me go through it again here real quick. Uh, this is Siege's uh, great piece. Uh, we got another uh, good piece here from uh, 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 from Piper, although I, I would disqualify him for self-promotion. Uh, we have El Rodimus, who doesn't want to show us any art. He just wants to sell a puppy dog and cheat. Uh, we have Eric Spies here. It's not a puppy, it's a bat. <laughs> uh, no, of course, this beautiful piece from El uh, Here is Cat. Very nice, very nice. Uh, we have McCrank's piece, and, of course, we have Mike's piece. Uh, all right, so this is what's got to happen, guys. Uh, we're going to have Boosters go to drop that straw poll and uh we got 61 of you in here that is awesome guys Ooh, and uh so uh, awesome. definitely it I is awesome it. uh get over there and vote for that uh your favorite piece into the straw poll and while you do that we're going to take a look at the draw along and once again if you haven't put your draw along in yet it's very easy just go over to twitter put in hashtag d n q f e and uh we'll take a look at it so uh let me white box the booster and uh let's see what uh, offerings we have for today sir all right, shall we? Mm. All right, so oh, we start yeah. off with Agent. Do you remember uh, closer to the beginning of the stream, we were talking about uh, Kiwis and tight little ninja outfits we and were. the Russo running across the ocean? <laughs> yes. This is, it yes. this is it happening in live action. So uh, <laughs> Who did so, that, dude? Uh, this is by uh, my boy, Adrian. Adrian, go. Oh, that's Kiwi. Adrian. Believe it. No, bring it back. Mm -hmm. Let me see that again. Bring that up. That's Man, Adrian. Adrian is really improved, dude. I mean, he's got oh, so much better. You've because he's done another. You've got to see his uh, one later on today. But but for now, we'll go to uh, Shinobi Raccoon. Ooh, Shinobi. And Shinobi Raccoon has done uh, his little... Um, I don't know what his character is, but it's really cool. And, of course, with our skateboards, our lady Is that head. a shower scene? What is that? It may be. I, I it's so. sexy time. It's sexy time. Mm -hmm. Androids in prison. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Mm, orange should be more kind of thing going on. Down, 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 yeah. down, and down, here is another down, one of uh, Adrian's. Check this out. Yeah, very nice. Now, Adrian is really, really has upped his game in the past year, dude. Uh, he right. absolutely that's has, man. One yeah. of the best I've seen from him. That's really cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sweet. Looking very, looking very sexy. Very and uh, no one but bloody Adrian. He's trying to take your job over on his flash. This is a little samurai Kiwi. <laughs> He's coming for you, man. I got a weapon. You better watch out, guys. I'm I'm armed and ranged weapon. That's why, that's why don't mess with the mess with the chest. Though. That's right. Little... Damn it. Oh, here we. Here's we uh, go. Now. Here's uh, uh, Zach Bradley's. Zach is showing oh, wow. off. Wow, Joe, that's awesome. Yeah, and, yeah, uh, Zach is awesome. Oh boy. Eh? <laughs> Look, Look at that. that. Look, Look at, at the that. tank. Tank has decided to mute himself at the wrong time, uh, but I will say it for him. <gasps> oh my god! Okay, In that's very nice. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh no! Here's uh, Joshua <laughs> Hughes. <laughs> <laughs> Justice for Rick. Sticker. What are you talking about, Justice, Justice for Rick? Uh, <laughs> Justice for Rick. Uh, He's just right here. Rick. I've, I've got a bad. Wait, I've got a very bad out. feeling. What's going to happen to the poll today? I don't care. <laughs> uh, I wear wins wins. Rick almost won last time. We had to do that. Uh, we had to do that. Uh, uh, that shootout or runoff. Do a tiebreaker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I gave on the pro edition. So. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, still a rabbit fox. Oh my goodness. Look at that. I love his <laughs> oh, style, man. dude. Why doesn't oh, he come on the show? I don't understand. He's got. A, I got. Oh a man. He That's has amazing. to. I want him here so bad. Yeah. I want you, Turtle Rabbit Fox. Oh, yeah. It's really cool. Uh, 
That kicks ass. I it love it. It is awesome, yeah. And, of course, there's a Kiwi in there for uh, good measure. Is, it, uh, is there a Kiwi? Uh, is that, uh, I, 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 I see what I want to see. I see what I want to see. We'll say it's a Kiwi. Yeah, we'll say it's there a Kiwi. There is a Junkyard Dundee and Q. Nice. They, uh, ooh, nice. Oh licking the gun. Yeah. Licking it. Oh, to licking lick. the gun. Very, wow. Yeah. Very sensual. Very tight. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. Yep, yep, I am yep. a robot. Yes, you are. Dude. We, <laughs> know, oh, we know. Here we are. Whoa. Al Comics. Boom. Jesus. Look at that. Every week. They just Boom. Keep it's, got, better. Oh, it's got movement. I, I know. Love that. Alan, Alan is just is a freaking amazing dude. Yeah, uh, I love it. That is beautiful. Very, very nice. Very nice. Wow. All of this stuff looks like it should be like toy packaging art. It does. It's right? just yeah. awesome. Yeah. Howl is amazing. It's blowing his face oh, off. Dude. I love it. And uh, we have JCM, Joe Marone. Oh, that's uh, nice, dude. Hey, uh, what was that? Gritty cyberpunk settings. Got background and all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, stamp of approval. Yeah, it's very Heck cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. I love the washing some, machine. Uh, I don't know why there's a washing machine, but I love it. I don't know why. It's some <laughs> dingy little back alley somewhere in a cyberpunk setting. Yeah. Hey, uh, Chino. Hey, Chino. Wow. Whoa. Hold on a second. Mm. That That's really good, Chino. Look at oh. that tank. Wow. Yeah, some that's cyberpunk goodness. That is really good, Chino. Yeah. Good job, sick. man. Man, it is sick, dude. That's incredible. Wow! That is excellent. Yeah, right. dude. JCM's yeah. again a uh, y'all host this stuff to like our cyberpunk Zoom because that's legit. That yeah, is. That was very good. Mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, Tulfa. Oh, wait, wait a minute. But oh, here we are. Here we are. Here's Tulfa's one. Very All nice. Young gangster style to side. Yeah, that's yeah, an execution yeah, shot. That's yeah, how you know you're screwed. That's right. Yeah. I like it. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, been, it's not professional. Right. Yeah, one, eight, you don't seven, hold your gun like that. I'll tell you what code it is. She can. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, there you go. Uh, uh, you Evan Hotep. Evan Hotep. Um, <laughs> <be more>. <laughs> no! <laughs> what is this? Why are we getting more justice for Rick? Why does Rick need justice? He's sitting right here. What are you guys talking about? Oh, that's beautiful. I love the it NPC is. faces. Dude, that's hilarious. Uh, uh, I got our Canadian shield here. See, that yeah. goes on. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And they, uh, Dam's, Dam's Nation. What is oh, going on here? Hey, no, that's pretty cool, dude. I like that. Ew, Zan's got his spine yeah. ripped out. Gross. Yeah, no, but it's kind of cool, dude. I like yeah, that. I love it. Uh, that is wild. Who Who is this? This is a new face, isn't Damn it? Damn Nation, yeah. I like it, though, dude. It's very yeah. cool. Yeah. That wow. kicks ass. That's... Oh, it's like gross, but it's awesome. And Nestor says, "Why aren't there six hundred votes yet?" <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and uh, this is JCM's. The final, uh, final, again. final, and maybe. Yeah. Final, 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 final version. Awesome. And I believe that is the draw along today. All right. Well, uh, Tank, you're gonna have to choose the best one. Uh, from the draw along, of course. Uh, which one did you like best? Um, there was there was one that I missed because I I roboted out, and all I could hear was you. Wow, you really need to see this, and I'm like, oh man, I can't see it. Uh, well, uh, go to uh, you got Zach, maybe show him Zach's one. Yeah, I think it was Zach when that happened. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, that's real awesome. I love that one; it's super powerful. But the uh, um, uh, one of the later ones. Uh, let's see here. Go down. Go back on the list. Booster, my friend. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it was. And, uh, uh, it was the uh, anime uh, yeah. looking one, man. That that one that looked all ghost in the shell. I love. Uh, Shinobi so Rex he's talking about a howl. Uh, you got this one uh, from Damnation. This one? Yeah. Oh, no, wow. Howl Comics. I, I didn't think, see that one either. That is incredible. It is nice, yeah. Uh, yeah I think he's talking that, about how old you know. How old this one. Shooting the face off. You know what? I'm going to give it to the gore. I mean, that that is just <laughs> incredible, dude. Yeah, Chino's it is, is nice, so dude. Hard to pick. Yeah, look at that. How, yeah, it is badass. I mean, look at that. That is just. I, I'm going to have to go for that because of the action. I love the uh, 
the whole like I, I love the the commando pants and the shooting in the face and the that's that's very much her style, you know. Just like, no, nope, I'm gonna shoot your face off. There you go. Uh, so Alan I'm wins go with that one on principle. Yeah, okay. Uh, so Alan wins mm-hmm. the draw along, but uh, I I'm definitely giving a uh, uh, honorable mentions to Chino though. That is a killer piece. Let me see Chino's again. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, the... yeah, yeah I can't get enough of it. Are you all right, dude? Are you have problems. There you go. That is a really good piece. Problems. I know, dude. Uh, that is a good piece from Chino. That's intense. Yeah. That's intense. It is intense. All it right, really guys. Uh, like, let me run through the art uh, real yeah. quick again. Uh, of course, we have uh, Siege here. Uh, we have uh, Cross Comics. Uh, we have Erotimus is doing Ezra. <clears throat> Wonderful. Uh, we have Eric. Nice. Uh, we have uh, Cam. I have damaged him. Very sexy. Uh, we have uh, McCrank here. And, of course, we have Mike McMahon. Mm. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over and I'm going to uh, vote myself. And then I'll call the poll and uh, we'll see what we got. All right. Let me come over. All right. So who am I going to uh, vote for today? Hmm. Hmm. Justice Rick. the Piper. <laughs> Man, I'm not voting today. I, I'm not doing it. No, sir. No, sir. I'm not doing it. Wouldn't do it. No, because that was tough enough voting on the draw along. Uh, uh, no, I'm just not. I can't take the pressure. Oh, go ahead and vote. We won't know you vote for it. All right. So I have made my votes, and uh, we have 49 votes in here. And uh, we have 50 now, so we're getting some coming in. Very nice. Uh, we have a we have an obvious leader, so awesome. Uh, and uh, that should be interesting. Mike will absolutely have joys and thrills for me, and uh, Edwin will love it because Edwin is awesome. Uh, but uh, so I'll wait and see if I get any movement. So I might take 60 votes, uh, but uh, we might be. I want to know about done. your movements, Chester. Hey, shut up now. I, I talk about my <laughs> I talk about my movements all I like. Uh, but uh, it kind of looks like we're going to be at 50 here, but I'll give it a minute. Uh, but uh, great show today. Great pieces of art, guys, and uh, lots of fun as usual. We do appreciate you coming over. Uh, once again, if you haven't hit that subscribe button or that like button, we'd appreciate it if you did. Uh, and, uh, you know, become uh, part of the fan speak and what we're doing. Uh, do keep in mind that if anybody wants to be on the show here uh, or any of the fan speak shows for that matter, uh, just hit up my Twitter and uh, we will uh, definitely get you involved. Uh, you don't want to hit me up, though. I'll, I'll look at messages. This is true. This is true. Booster is a little quicker. <laughs> well, because I only check my stuff like uh, I only have like two hours that I actually in, in, involve and myself. I have in no the life. And this is true. He yeah. has no life. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Uh, but it looks like I'm gonna have to call it a 51. So uh, if you have, if you want to vote, then get in here. I'm gonna call it in right. 10. Yeah, I right. didn't vote. Nine. Eight. Eight. Six, two, five, four, three, two, one. Good work, Rick. Seven. Six. <laughs> five. Four. Five. Three. Thanks for boostering that count, booster. Two. <laughs> a one. <laughs> and we're done. All right, we're going to take 53 votes. We're going to uh, take a look at from the bottom to the top. And uh, let's see here. Now, in uh, the last runner-up place with one vote, uh, we have McCrank has not burned down any churches, actually. <laughs> That's good to hear. That's good to hear. Now, uh, McCrank, my question for you is, uh, oh, my God, Ezra, what the hell are you doing? Um, uh <laughs> Uh, El Rodimus is polluting, <laughs> polluting the water. He's polluting the water. I love yeah. it. Goodness gracious. Oh. Yeah. Fine, fine. Oh, my God. He's drawing numbers on pants. It's not good. Ask me about well, my Rick Agenda. I decimated uh, Don Malin last night, I've got to move on to a new target. So. Oh, there you go. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right. Hello. But this, of course, is McCrank's piece. Now, McCrank, I do have a question for you. Uh, did you vote for yourself, sir? No. I don't do that. I voted for. I don't don't say who I voted for, but I I voted. So, so not, someone not someone gave you some love then, isn't that nice? Now tied uh, yeah. with uh, McCrank uh, uh, for last runner up position, uh, we do have ourselves an Elorotomus Flash is getting infected by the Ezra, actually. Uh, and it's obviously true. It's obviously true. We, we see it happening live right in front of us. Uh, it's uh, the pasties just kind of make the whole thing. Uh, 
Uh, so it uh, makes it beautiful. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it's doing all sorts for me. It is. I know. I know. And he does yeah. such a perfect oh, yeah. Ezra, but I don't. Know. Where's the kiwi? Where's the kiwi? Uh, he yeah. did a kiwi yeah, earlier. Yeah, no the game. Industry. Well, you know what he should have had. He should have had the kiwi suckling on a teat. That would have been nice. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would just be vulgar. Come on. Yeah, all right. How we like it. Uh, moving on, though. Yeah, uh, it's a family show. It is. No, it's not. Uh, no, we really we have not. Don't bring your family. The next runner-up with four votes, we have Eric Hawkins can also letter, actually. Uh, so, uh, yes. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, there's the Kiwi comes okay. together. Uh, let's take a look at Eric's piece again. Uh, but, uh, yeah, very nice. Uh, uh, I'm glad. Uh, uh, I like what he's done. And he got he became naughty at the very end. I'm surprised you didn't steal it. more votes for that. Nothing. He did. Naughty. But the people no, had an agenda today. Nobody loves me. No one loves you. Well, there's obviously no. an agenda going on. You know what? I'm yeah. not gonna I'm not gonna get upset about it. Unlike other people. Uh, I have a bucket of worms. Just run really hiatus. All right, right, right. Uh, and then we have the uh, fourth position or the uh, the runner up runner up. Uh, we have Cat Cat loves stripper story time actually. Is that true, Cat? <laughs> Do you love stripper story time? No, it's a favorite. It's yeah. a little weird. It is a little weird. <laughs> uh, it is a little weird. And it, it, it's not my fault. These guys insist upon it. They're constantly, Chester, where's the stripper story time? Yeah. Yeah, I love stripper story time. It's my there favorite. There you go. All right. Uh, they're coming up into the medals in uh, third position with eight votes. And the bronze medal, Mike McMahon. Those are whores, yeah. actually. What? <laughs> what the hell, Booster? I just remembered one thing he said during the stream. He said, "Those are whores," and I, I, I just kind of clung on to that. But, but that's right, that's going to be the that's going to be his quote of the day. I can't right. wait for my wife to see this. Yeah, yeah, it'll be wonderful. Yeah, yeah wonderful. Uh, but thank you very much, Mike. Uh, great little piece. Of course, I'm showing it off there. Uh, definitely finish that and drop it. Now, do keep in mind, everybody, uh, take your art and please drop it into the Discord uh, on the after show. Put it in that Dropbox uh, so Pixel can have an uh, uh, archive of everything, all right? Uh, make sure you do that. And, of course, our winner uh, needs to uh, send me a piece so I can get it over to uh, uh, Edwin. Uh, now, uh, coming up in second place uh, with a silver medal, uh, we have Siege. Will she get a third win? Actually, no. <laughs> no, she, she got, won't. No, <laughs> she won't. Uh, she got uh, she got uh, a silver medal, which is very nice, beautiful piece. Uh, so, well, congratulations on that, of course. Uh, but uh, of course, that brings us into the actual winner for today. I've been Rick rolled. You have been Rickrolled. Mm -hmm. You have, and it's it's not the best. It's it's like the worst type of Rickrolled, actually. I yeah. apologize. Uh, you'll you'll have to you'll have to go shower later. I apologize for that. Uh, but um, uh, our winner in first place with 23 votes, Rick Piper or Cross Comics requires justice. Actually, I don't know why, but you are the winner, Rick. Congratulations to you, sir. And everyone's going to give you a clap, clap, clap. Let's have some claps for the Rick. Very nice. Very nice. Very Thank nice. Thank you very much. All right, Rick. So is this your uh, first you time go going to the... Any... Yeah, go ahead. Get, get it out. Go ahead. No, I was just saying I didn't go put any tweets out for people. Uh, wow, he's robot too. That's weird. Uh, this but, is uh, why we don't invite the cult of Raven. This is true, right? <laughs> uh, but uh, now I do have a question for you, Rick. Is this your first time going to the Pro Edition? Yeah. It is. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, so uh, yeah. um, mm -hmm. uh, now do me a Here's favor, Rick. And uh, after the show here, uh, go to my Twitter, which is listed just below on the YouTube, right? And uh, put this piece of art uh -huh. uh, into the Twitter to me, and I will get that over to Edwin, and he'll make sure he gets you on the show, okay? So Awesome, dude. Thank you. Uh, so uh, awesome, guys. Uh, we got a new winner going over. It should be a lot of fun. Uh, I want to thank everybody here. You guys are great. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down the line. I'm going to let everybody tell you uh, where they can be found and, uh, and, of course, promote any projects they're working on. I'm going to start with Mike McMahon. Go ahead, sir. All right. You can find me at, uh, let's see, uh, 
uh, Mike McMahon, uh, at Mike McMahon 74 on Twitter. And then uh, on YouTube, it's just Mike McMahon. Uh, currently, what I'm working on is uh, the volume two of U.S. Assassin, which was the free bonus book with Ray Beard Shift volume two. Um, right. And by the time that actually ships in March, uh, we'll be done with volume two and then we'll roll it into our own campaign. So we're not going to, we're not going to rest on our laurels. Bloody sweet. Bloody, bloody moral visa in here. So I have to do it today. Ah. <laughs> Good luck, dude. That's a rough, yeah. uh, have fun. Uh, but, uh, all right. Excellent. Thank you very much, Mike, for coming in. We always appreciate you guy. Uh, you're uh, just killer artist, man. Beautiful stuff. And, uh, definitely going back up, uh, what he's doing guys and, uh, get involved. It's awesome. Uh, Nasser says, uh, rigor Rick. Riggard Rick. All right, fine. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, can, I can't do much about that. Yeah, well, and, and none <laughs> of us win. care. We're happy. I hope uh, Rick goes over there and has a great time with the pros. And don't you take any crap from those pros, by the way, Rick. If they give you a hard time, you let me know. I'll deal with it. Mm-hmm. Right. Oh. Rick, if you need a soundboard, buddy, you just call hey. me and I'll help you come up with some good puns. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Rick. Go ahead. <laughs> Wow, Canada is under attack. Save Rick! Save Rick! Uh, All right, uh, moving on here. McCrank, sir. Uh, Very happy to have you back on here with us today. Uh, Great looking little piece of art. Uh, Have you got any kind of contact information yet for us? No. Great. All right. Uh, Well, if you guys. I'm just going to go by the votes and. uh... Nobody wants to find me, so that's that's okay. I'm going to dox you. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we shall dox you, yes. Spin. Yes, but if you guys are interested in contacting McCrank, just contact me, and I will get you in touch with him. Uh, moving down here, we have Cat with a great piece today. Uh, so, Cat, tell the folks where they can find you. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Wildcat Inc. Um, and, yes, yeah, but- all right, so, <laughs> Wildcat Inc. Very nice, very nice. Uh, so, um, uh, no, I won't make that joke. I'll get in trouble. Uh, all right, thank oh, you very much, Cat. Thank you, Cat. Thank you. Uh, all right, uh, moving down here. Of course, we have Eric Hawkins. Uh, please, sir, uh, tell your tell the folks all about you. Uh, uh, oh, uh, just kidding. You can find me on uh, Twitter, Eric <laughs> underscore Hawkins. Um, uh, on Facebook under Eric Scott Hawkins, or even you can go out to Facebook, look up Stone Door Studios, and you can actually go buy the Zombie World of Oz number one right there in the storefront. Oh, there you go. And Sweet. I am working on issue two right now. Awesome. Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Uh, and um, uh, we do know there's a, a couple of uh, Oz uh, uh, retakes or uh, uh, ideas going out. Uh, this one is actually very cool. Uh, check it out, guys. Uh, moving over to El Rodimus. Sir, where can we find you? Uh, you can check me out on Instagram right now. It's uh, Elrod.Elrod. And I'm on like day 27 of Inktober, I believe. Uh, oh, no, no, no 17, 17, 17, yeah. Mm, no, I'm on like 27. All right, well, rock on, dude. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, everyone else is on 17, maybe. I see, so you're ahead of the game. Amateurs. You're ahead of the game. Amateurs, absolutely. Uh, I don't know who Love is it. hammering on a keyboard, but uh, I will send Booster to take your fingers. Okay? All right. Uh, but, I'll leave uh, them. He'll, he will. He will. <laughs> he'll think they're a morning worm, you know. Early bird gets the worm, right? Yeah, okay. All right. I hear you. Uh, but uh, thank you very much, El Rodimus, for being here. Uh, we appreciate it. Uh, let's move down over here to uh, Siege. Hello, Siege. Tell the folks where they can find you. I wasn't the one typing the keyboard. Um, mm-hmm. Let me let me find where they can find me. Let me let me do this real quick. Okay. okay. Tea Time Drone on Twitter. That is. My drone is spelled D-R-O-A-N, and then on my Instagram is Dronadone, D-R-O-A-N dot A-D-O-A-N. 
There you go. Sweet. All right. Uh, now, seeing as Rick cannot speak because he's roboting too much, I'll help him out. Uh, if you guys want to get in talk, uh, a touch with Cross, all you need to go is go over to uh, YouTube and this place there called Blacklist Universe. And uh, just uh, go ahead and send him information and ask him all kind of questions about his Canadian buckler and uh, all his other characters. <laughs> and he will love it. He will absolutely love it. Uh, so, Isn't uh, he on RussianBrides.com? <laughs> Right, uh, but uh, go ahead, Rick. Uh, yeah, you can actually find me. Uh, yeah, you can actually find me here on YouTube at Cross Comedy. Also, uh, I've just recently opened a store on Teespring for some uh, Cross Comics merchandise. Yeah, I didn't, some stuff. Didn't catch any. Of by that. John Diller. Not, not, not even real body. I'll answer for you. You yeah. can uh, commission him for any kind of lipstick uh, mm -hmm. uh, cards you want. Yeah, yeah, he'll do that. He will do that. And uh, something about uh, some kind of sadomasochism from uh, some guy named John Dillard. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but uh, definitely, of course, we have your links up here. You're good to go, Cross. Uh, that's Cross Comics on YouTube. Go check it out. He does a lot of stuff, guys. A lot of content over there. Uh, and, of course, congratulations to you, Cross. Uh, go over there and have a good time with the pros. Uh, I don't know what they're doing next week, but uh, it'll be fun for you, man. And uh, congratulations. Uh, now. Sure. Okay. Oh, awesome, dude. Uh, now, of course, uh, uh, moving on here uh, to our very, very last person. Well, all right, fine. Booster, where can they find you? Uh, you can follow Booster at Booster Kiwi on the YouTube and the Twitter and all, where all good Kiwis are sold. Uh, very well. All right. Now, uh, coming over to uh, the last of the last here, Tank Ferret. Can you speak? Yes, sir. Well, tell them where they can find yes, you, and, can you uh, and promote your book. Uh, go go right ahead. Yeah, well, huge special thanks, Pixel Trader. Hey, thanks, man, for making this all happen, dude. And, and thank you very much to all the artists who participated tonight because it's just been absolutely just mind boggling. I've been just geeking out over here. Um, just the stuff that came out, just absolutely beautiful. Um, you all can find me on Twitter and Instagram. Uh, at forward slash tank ferret art. Uh, Scalpel Zero is going to be coming soon, man. Uh, she's the Apex Predator. And uh, there's a whole bunch of crazy, like, cyberpunk conspiracy stuff surrounding her. The corporation that controls her. Mm -hmm. The Sixth Columns. A, 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 uh, a secret organization that seeks to infer, interfere with government ele uh, elections. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, come on, man. It's got it all. It's deliciously cyberpunk. There you go. Uh, awesome, guys. And uh, thank you all for being here. Uh, Joshua says Rick needs to bring uh, uh, Mike Miller kiss cards to doing Q. I think you should do it live. Uh, uh, Rick, put on the lipstick and uh, kiss many cards for all the pros. Uh, you should do it live on the Pro Edition. It'll be awesome. It'll be awesome. Uh, but uh, thank you all for being here, guys. No problem. Yeah, absolutely. And um, uh, excellent show today. Great pieces of art, as usual. We appreciate you guys. Uh, thank you all very much. And, uh, yeah, I guess um, that's it. So, uh, later. Bye. Okay, bye. 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 I love you. Bye-bye.